Tell me, O oh muse, of the many heroes from many places who wandered the many ways of the sacked sacred city of Ardenvall. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 39th session of the Arden Vulgaris campaign. In game, it is the 1st of Lucrios, also the 1st of April. And uh, let's go down the Discord. Let's say who we are, what character we're playing today, and also announce if you got any oaths outstanding. Uh, I'm playing Ostrom the Elvish Thief with an absolutely insane bow, um, but is very squishy, so hopefully can shoot things from a very far distance. Uh, has no oaths. I am playing once again Caius Calvis, the mercenary Captain Bard, uh, with his cadre of dwarven brothers. Um, I currently have an oath to kill the frog demons that hunt me beneath Ardenvull. Nice. Uh, I'm Ed. Uh, I'm playing uh, Hedgewarder, the level 2 goblin fighter with his new lion cloak that he got last week. Um, and he has an oath to slay a, a member of the Plumform gang, so hopefully he will be able to do that this evening. And I'm Rory, I am playing Hastar the Priest, um, who has an oath to lay the two souls to rest from the tower, and is now wielding the lawful good intelligent uh, scimitar known as Mistral. Know about that one. Hi, I'm Lewis. Uh, once again, playing Olympiodorus, the muscle muscle mage. Um, uh, he has an outstanding oath to um, claim a golden throne. Um, okay, then. Um... Are we getting any additional hirelings today or anything of the like? I don't think we need them. We got, we've got we a got wizard, a, we've got a thief, we've got a priest. I mean... Got a bard and a fighter. And a, unless yeah. we want the halfling priest because it has cure wounds and is a halfling so could stand on whatever the cart if we do that. How many yeah, halflings do we have in the group? Not going to go any halflings. He did any halfling. Um, the only the only thing I could have thought of would be you know like a a seer, but I don't see any there. So, um, let's take let's take the halfling priest just to be on the safe side. It doesn't hurt, does it? Cure wounds and a halfling. Yeah, it can go invisible if we need them to go invisible. They can disguise themselves as a halfling if we need them to do, do that. Who wants to run it? Uh, I don't mind paying for it because I need to clear up some inventory space. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, where are we starting today? Uh, we're syncing up with Anchovy to get updates on what he learned while hanging out at the Broken Head Inn about the halfling transport. Right. Who is Anchovy? He was a thief we hired the last session and just set him at the end okay. to be a spy. Okay. Uh, Anchovy will um, whisper to you um, from beyond the broken head uh he looks very scared um and he says he hasn't he wasn't able to stay for su too long um some setites were were around and uh got the hell out of there but he was able to uh get some glean some information and that tonight the halflings will bring up their share of the treasure from their halls and their finds from adventurers. And they Yo. use that to at the broken head. And then they bring supplies down. And that's how this works. 
they were they couldn't he wasn't anchovy couldn't stick around long enough to understand sort of like you know the force ratio of you know what's what what that entails but he understands that's that's sort of the deal they bring it up so they come up, up with a treasure caravan yeah yeah does he know why their support route they take and do yeah. they come up directly from the temple yeah they take the main supply route they take the that msr of the right past the north gates Does he so know... we can ambush them near the temple base, yeah. but away they... from the north gate? Did yeah, he then... hear if they were additional guards being sent to the north gate? Did he hear of? Yeah, like, would he... No. Yeah, because assuming there's a big transport, they might add more people to the gate, because usually it's just the two. He didn't hear anything like that. And um, did he see, I guess, how big the supply run was? Like if it was all stacked up in the backyard or something? No, the... Um, no, the uh, the halflings will... I guess they, they probably would just sell him like a larder of food or whatever. Um, so like yeah. they... So no, he, he assumes that it's rel relatively like that. So he didn't have, they didn't have anything pretty, pretty ready to go to trade for them. Um... I will give you one juicy morsel. They definitely, uh, Kronos and, and Estelle seem definitely interested in this um, halberd <sighs> the halflings have. So, there's that. Okay. Just, so, just, just throw that in there, right? We know, that, that in there. We know they're getting, um, they're coming past the watchtower. Um, I mean, I don't have anything against those guys, but we could, you know, sleep them charm them or just lock them up and then ambush them from the watchtower you know lights on the watchtower they expect to see people up there hiding mm. the hiding the bushes we jump them i could throw down a silence um to stop any noise traveling to the broken head yeah that's yeah. probably the best bet i, I guess like the, the only concern would be there if they're in the towers we're gonna have to rush up there um, I mean, I can spider climb to the top potentially, and then just sleep him. Thief can slink in. Yeah, yeah, that that could work. That that sounds like a good plan. And then the rest of us can wait on the bottom. To yeah, ambush yeah. the cart as it comes by. Yeah, and then we can get um, Os Ostrom, Bunyip. Is that that who you're playing today, Ostrom? Yeah. Um, yeah, we can get Ostrip up on Ostrom up on the tower where he's out of immediate danger, um, and, and can lay down right. absolute carnage with that bow. Yeah, I'm like um, plus eight or plus ten with that thing. So that's yeah. just yeah. just devastate what we can get. Um, Drom can also hang out up there with a the crossbow. Yeah, I probably don't want to be hucking fireballs around because that will draw a lot of attention. Yeah, but I can certainly set up the. The ambush or help the setting up the ambush from the tower. Um, um, are there trees along the edge that we could pre kind of cut one to once the caravan passes past, we can cut it down and block that way? No, no, it's what too wide. Okay, have we got any, have we got, uh, any cow chops or anything no, like the, that? The north side is rather deforested expressly for kind of better line of sight from the gate yeah um we would want to attack them before they cross the gate though too yeah yeah like basically as soon as they get in reasonable bow shot of the tower um mm -hmm. also again i can i there might might be people above second level um in this party but you know it, if I throw a, a sleep down on on the caravan, should take some of them out, and we then the rest of us just have like the champions, the like higher, more more hardy dudes to deal with. So yeah, I think yeah, I think that's a good plan. Y'all go up there, take out the guards on the north gate. Uh, Ostrom gets the backstab on them as they approach to at least take out the driver. Um. And then the part, the rest of us that are on the ground will charge and pull them off. Yeah. 
Grapple. Yeah, and I, I think mean, Ollie. I think Ollie throwing down silence as the ambush starts is probably going to be a big deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, they're probably not going to have mules, right? It's probably just going to be a handcart, right? Because where would they keep the mules? Well, I don't know. I mean, if they do have mules, what collateral damage? Nah. Well, I was just thinking, like, what hit dice are mules? They might just fall asleep as well, anyway. Oh uh, yeah, but well, I don't think um, we're worried about them. Yeah, but but it, basically, if you disable the engine, they can't go anywhere with the yep. treasure. Is the point? And I'm assuming they won't have a bunch of them in it, anyways. Like two, three as a transport, maybe two as a guard or something on the back. Yeah, but... yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so. Do we need caltrops, rope, firebombs, anything, or do you think we're all set with the stuff we got? I think I think firebombs again for the same reason. I I think I'm not going to use fireball. On yeah, would attract my not, attention. Not lies. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. sleep. Oh, sorry, the silence on that area, and we just go in quiet and deadly. Kill okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Easy enough. And we do have. I've got caltrops. Like I can, I can throw caltrops. We can we can make a field of caltrops. Maybe in front of the north gate after we take out the guards. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So that they yeah, can't yeah. go forward towards. They can't basically. They can't escape to the broken head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We want to yeah, use yeah. use it to cut off their means of escape, but like nowhere near where our like operation zone, so we don't stumble on them in the dark. Yeah, cool. The only person who'd have to be careful about it would be like Drom and and Osu who are up in the uh, towers or Osu. Once we've got this treasure, where we where are we taking it to, and are we gonna are we got any further plans beyond that, or is it? Or do you think oh, that's I guess it depends on how much treasure and stuff. Okay. Or we can take it to the Goblin Court and sell it off there. Whiskagin will fucking love, you know. Yeah. Okay. Us bringing in more spoils. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we could we could do that and then enter from the Southern Goblin side, so we don't have to deal with the portcullis. Yeah, if we want Maybe. To it, it depends on it whether or not we think we can pull off the pretending to be the supply run coming back. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if they're coming from the temple, because this useless thief got us the most bare minimum info, I, what, do we think they carry it up to the top of the temple and then, like, push the eyes and go down the main entrance? Well, if we could, if we could capture one of the one of the people on this this transport, maybe we could charm them, or maybe we can we can capture yeah. them. We can get maybe get more solid information yeah. about what their plan was going back. Yeah, and yeah. Like, these guys have been it's... getting worn down for a while. It's very possible that some of them are on the edge of like morale break. Yeah, yeah. We may very well get a surrender, oh, especially yeah, if we we'll, drop we'll in try on to, them. We'll like try to take fucking... one as a survivor to interrogate. The hardest the hardest part is probably going to get these guys in the tower. I reckon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Let's do know, it. How many up there it might be between like eight, four, eight of them? I well, I think know. there's only been two the previous times we've gone out there. But I think there's at yes. least four. I think there's at least two in each tower, but there might be four. But I'm I'm definitely in favor of like non non lethal means against the guards on the tower. They work for the halflings. Do they work for the halflings? I think it's a mutual arrangement. I don't think it's. But they they work for the broken head. Uh... Yeah. They're not and the, the broken head and the halflings right? just kind of have like an understanding. No, the Azure Shield want the Plumthorns dead and want uh, they'll pay us um, they'll pay us a bounty for individual halflings killed and they'll pay us a whole bunch if we get Plebotomist. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's what I was wondering. So we haven't we haven't nailed the halfling leader, but if these guards are not Azure Shield, it's like why why would we not just er erase them? I said, the broken head. I think the idea is that we don't want the broken head to come after us. Um, and I how just we're already don't really out. feel feel like killing two people whose job it is to look after, like you know, keep an eye on the road and keep people safe. Yeah, is well, really a nice thing to do. We'll see, we'll see, I think Colin would be down with it. You know, yeah, we we can start with the non-lethal and then see how it yeah. goes. Caius is totally yeah, yeah. fine with killing them, especially if that's easier. But I know, I I know that. But I'm I'm saying all of them. Uh, but like if we it needs need must, it, if needs must, it's fine. But like, carrying uh, rags and uh, things for tying people up, it's like one rope to tie up like large numbers of guards might not do the job. It's Sixty feet, it should definitely hold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, I think the, I think the main reason we might want to kill these guys in cold blood is that the broken head in is allowed to operate on the surface, and our best guess is that they have some kind of relationship with the dragon. 
Now, if they take umbrage to us murdering their guys, they might try and get the dragon. I don't know what their relationship okay. is. The dragon. Yeah, I'm more, I'm more worried about a dragon, dragon than the house. Yes. So that's why it doesn't matter if we piss them off a bit, but like we probably don't want to get into like a hot war with the broken head in because they, they have more resources than we probably think they've got. You know. But... Also, like, they, we know for a fact solid... that the two people who run this inn are high level oh. characters who would probably kick our ass. Yeah, and they did yeah, a solid yeah. not just turning us over to the Setites, you know, like they, they yeah. kind of said, like, leave yeah, before, okay, before it gets bad. Don't kill the guards on site. But if yeah. they attack us, defend ourselves. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting from the goblins. Yeah, do we need to distribute luck while we're walking up and doing our thing? Uh, uh, or, I guess... Appreciate- I guess we're starting outside the Broken Head Inn wall because we just chatted with Anchovy. Or would he have come there at the staircase? No, nah, you, you, you would have met him in the staircase down. You guys would be starting in uh, okay. Dolan territory. Okay. So we're kind of to the north west, right? Mm-hmm. So, to get out of the goblin territory, to get to the surface, you're going to need to spend two torches. I can burn two torches. And now I have two uh, empty slots. Cool. Okay. Ollie, do you have luck? Yes, yes, I do. Thanks. Okay. Um, I've already got luck. I've I already do not. Luck. All right, Hastar? Yeah, you want to give Hastar the priest luck for, uh, for the heals? Nice. Oh, yeah, my, my PA. And then, um, Ostrom. Yes, this please. Is your ambush. Ah, no. That's all the luck we get today. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, good thing. Good thing you have a plus ten. <laughs> yes, that's. Well, I just hope I get to use it. Well, you're 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 firing the first shot, my friend. Yeah. Oh yeah. You get you get, you get backstab. You get backstab yeah. with that. As soon as you, oh, as soon as arrows? I see the first yeah. shot go, I'm cast. As soon as I see someone go down with an arrow, I'm casting silence, and then we go to town. Do we know what there is in the way of cover around the North Gate? I guess there's loads of ruined buildings and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. A question. Um, yeah, so there is plenty of, like, suitable, ambushable, um, terrain, especially at night, for you to get set up in. Do we have enough, like, what's the light, what is the light situation? Is there enough moonlight for us to be able to see what we're doing? Cause we... No, it's the exact, it's the, the dead moon. opposite, Ed. It's, it's literally light. a new moon. It's why they pick these nights. Right. So, um... So yeah, so you're at you're a little you're at a little bit of an impasse. It's a little bit tricky because if you go during the day, the North Gate people will probably spot you all, right? But if you get set up at night, you're gonna need night or like light to get set up, right? Yeah. What do we know? What time shift? I mean, you don't have to. Can you? Do we know what time shift changes for the the guards? Have we established that? I remember someone asking, yeah. but I think maybe we didn't get an answer. Um, yeah, so they, they do like, so there's four watches in a day and they do half, mm-hmm. half watches. Okay. So it would happen at the so end I of the second watch. So it'd like the start around dinner is like the start. Yeah. Of the... So I think we take the guards at like, you know, um, dinner time. It's um, got to be the watch. It's got to be the watch that's closest to the, when the wagon's coming through. Though, right? Yeah. 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 So we take, as soon as they change to the watch, that's not going to change. For between then and wagon time, we take the and the the other watch is out like far enough away from uh, the inn, uh, far enough away from the terror that they can't hear anything and alert them. We take the tower, then we set up in the twilight and wait. Right? Does yeah, and then we only, people. Maybe we only turn light. We only use the lights when we actually go. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. And we have to sit there until it gets dark. Yeah. I mean, can we get to the wall of the North Gate under cover of darkness? 
because assuming the watchtower is lit, so we at least know the direction. Yeah. Looks like their wall is busted up, so we can go up that way uh, on yeah. top so of do, the wall. Does does is it dark when the what the last watch change happens, Eric, or is it still light? Hmm. Good. Good question. We are. Let's see. If it's what six p.m. to six a.m. the shift. Yeah. I don't know. Would it be sunset six p.m.? I don't. Th I think it's got to be light, or at least uh, it's got to be looking, twilight. You know what I mean? What What latitude is it? I'm looking out my window right yeah. now, and it's yeah. it's seven p.m. here, and it's, it's like, oh yeah, okay. Um, um, it's not Scotland. <laughs> I'll give you that. Like, uh, yeah, but we don't need to do it immediately at the shift change. We just want to make sure the shift yeah, change yeah, doesn't. Yeah. But I, I'm, I, I'm don't, I don't think we need dark either, right? Like, yeah. Um, so it's it's not I even have, yeah. I have invisibility it, that lasts ten rounds. If we can get close enough for that, if we can get yeah. within ten rounds of that. So I you can, can go, go invisible, and Ostrom has advantage on sneaking and climbing and stuff like I'm, that. So the I mean, two of I, you just go and try to climb up there. Can, can I can draw, make multiple can people invisible. Um, it's just, you know, every every person I make invisible is one less round of time we have to do it. But it's only it you two going up top, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what about, what we can get drum? Within... Oh, drum. Is drum, yeah. is drum not going to go as well? Fair. But yeah, drum will also go but, just so, so it's three on. But once three we've taken top. the tower, we can just open the door and let you all in. We can, we can hang out there once we've set up the ambush. Well, I'm going to be attacking on the ground, so I don't. Yeah, know yeah, but we can there. we can hide there we'll until hide we're there ready. Until it's, time. Yeah. until it's time, so we're not like hanging out in the ruined city, in, True. Yeah, having fair. like random encounters, right? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. set up the ambush. We get everything we need, apart from the last minute preparations of spreading the caltrops. Then we yeah. go out. Like, if uh, anything, once you're in there, your priority should be to try and open a door so we can get in. Because if we don't know how many peak guys are in there, if there's only three of you, are you going to be able to take them? Don't know. We hope we rely a lot, lot on you getting your sleep off. Yeah, that's true. Um, but a backup plan, if it, if that doesn't work, then a backup plan is someone needs yeah. to try and make a, make a dart to for the tower so the rest of us can get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe Ostrom try to unlock the uh, the door on the bottom before you climb up. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah, that's a good. Very good call. Idea. Nice. So if something goes oh, bad, you enter. Yeah, yeah we pin so Also, just for the than... record, despite the fact that all of my guys are heavily armored, they're all wearing masterwork armor that reduces the noise they make. That's sweet. I'm not. <laughs> uh, that's maybe a problem. The other thing yeah. we could do is to give you guys cover getting in. Could we send someone to start a fire or something further out into the city to get the attention of the people on Northgate and then sneak back? That, I don't that know that we want to give them reasons to think that anything is up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. We just want to do it as quickly as possible. That's yeah, fine. we don't need a distraction. Yeah. All right, let's go. Sweet. Let's uh, get up on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we burn, and then and then up. Yeah. All right, we burn the two torches. Yep. We leave the basement and head this mm -hmm. direction. Mm-hmm. No wandering pack of wraiths to intercept us. Not not a wandering pack of wraiths, but uh, you know, there's You're definitely a, no. But there's baboons that are interested. I'm on the temple. Um, so, do you want me just to magic myself there. to just get them to fuck off? No, they're all sleeping. That's, that's attention. They are right. It could yeah. be random animals or something. They're that the um. See. Sorry. Uh. Let me let me be clear. They're not interested in you, but they are. They're okay. up there. They're not like even watching cool. you. But cool. Yep. Actually, shit. How tall is the the tower? I could just misty step up there if it's less than thirty feet. Anyway. Uh, they're not that tall because they're short enough that we can have a comfortable conversation while talking to the guys on top of them. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. So All right. are you 
we're not waiting for any particular time, right? Assuming uh, the guard we're... shift has happened already. Yeah, sure. after, the, just... after the guard shift. We're going to fast forward to then? Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay, let's see what's as time passes. See what happens. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Hang on. <clears throat> I've just I just thought of something as well. I'm not sure whether to mention it or not, but I'll see what Eric says. Okay. Uh Nice. All right. Uh, while you are waiting, um, the baboons disperse off the Temple of Thoth because there is a group leaving the temple, heading to the North Gate, um, laden with supplies. Or, sorry, laden with treasure. It is uh, clearly, like, clearly you can see that there. it's a group led by a, a, a Wiscan. Um, you know, they, they look like an adventuring party, just like your, like yourselves. Oh, is this like during the day? This is around dusk. Yeah, they've hired some adventurers to do this, right? Okay. So, um... While you all are uh, there, I will... Grab this. Oh, yeah. I was just going to make one for you. So we're still going to try and take the tower and take these guys, right? Yep. Even though they're not halflings. Yep. I mean, I okay. think that, that they're the, the messengers. This is dusk, right? Like, they wait until night. You, uh, I think Eric implied. Yeah. They do it in, like, midnight. Awesome. I think these might Things just be, a, might be adventurers. Men. What's that and, priest's name? I don't I think know. normal adventurers would be coming out with a cart the same time that they're doing. They don't. To be this. There's no cart. There's the they're group. Just... They're just adventuring parties full of not. I said full of supply uh, supplies originally, but no. I, I should really say their their packs are full of treasure. I think they're just like, an adventuring they're like, party. They look kind of worn out, like they've been under the ground for <laughs> a while. Yeah, and they had a, a good haul, you know. And they paid. They paid the. They paid the halfling allegedly I mean... fee, and then come up. Like I think, I think yeah. that's just a, a random yeah. thing that happened. It, so do we, do we, the, do we wait till they've the guards, gone? Take out the guards, pretend to be them, or chat to them, them to see what they say. Sure. I, I mean, I want... think we're, I think we're going to struggle to be able to take out the guards without them seeing us. Right? You can see the from the temple. You can see the north gate. We want to be no. hidden, let them go by. Yeah, but I mean, the, until... you were going to do sleep or something anyway, so like... Yeah, but if they're adventurers, they might be three three or up, right? This is assuming that, you know, but no, the guy who what, stands I, at the... I we're talking about taking the, out the guards right. shouldn't be um, noticeable. If it's... Yeah, it yeah. shouldn't be that noticeable. Let me, right. let me, let me help and, and point this question a little stronger. You see them at the top of the Temple of Thoth get, like, exfiltrating from their adventures right now. They're, they have not made it down. They, Lord knows they have no idea of what the hell's going your plans and stuff at the north gate at this time right my question here is would you initiate your plan knowing that there's this element that's up there or um would you would you wait for them to go by possibly risking your your window um like that's the that's the question they're not like walking down right at this moment right yeah. all right i'd say go Wait. Okay. Yeah, cool. go and then act as the guards and maybe chit chat a bit. Be like, "Oh yeah, you have a good haul." Blah blah blah. Anything good? See if they mention the halberd. Um. So right, what are we doing? Uh, I'm casting invisibility on, um, uh, Ostrom. And yourself, right? You're coming up on top. Yeah, so you, yeah, you're gonna go unlock the gate uh, if you can. It might be barred. And the lower right? door. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's doors. what that's what I mean by the gate. Sorry. Um, right. So. Uh, right. Okay. So that went off to a great start. Uh, shall I use my luck on this? I mean, 
Yeah, What's I was going to say, I don't know if we actually need to be invisible since we don't have any lights or anything. Uh, okay, what? yeah, like, when you, uh, yeah, to be clear, it is, while it is dusk, there is no penalties for seeing or sight at this moment. It's too bright, right? Oh, uh, okay. Like, it's yeah, just I mean, sunset. I can't sneak, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use... Um, oh, so they came out at sunset, even though we were waiting for the, the guard shift and everything. Yeah, so that's why that just happened to... forward progression. Yeah, right? this group yeah. of adventurers has hit the end of the day and is just... Nope. Right. Wait. Do you? Plan, so, so we, okay. Rip your invisibility. Yeah. Uh, has, has a plus seven even. to the roll. Got a two and a four on the die. Yeah. <clears throat> I rolled really well once, and that was a character <clears throat> creation. And yeah, since I mean, then, I still think so that's fine as a thief. Like advantage on stealth yeah. and climbing and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I just Wait, think it's... for me, getting up the side of the tower without them noticing me, is, yeah. is going to now be very difficult. Aren't, aren't you a halfling? No, I'm a, uh, a Spathari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I thought you were going to turn invisible. Not, well, yeah. Mil, well, Mil, the, our... our priest, the priest we've got, he can turn invisible at will. He's a halfling. So he could... I mean, I just, God damn, I, mean, I don't know how useful he's a level one priest, but... Uh, I mean, it's, it's okay. Like, I can, I can still misty step up there. Uh, assuming I can roll that um, and then try and yeah. get sleep off. Do we see how many guards are up there? Yeah, there's two up there. And there's two towers or one Correct. in one two in one tower or what? No, Peter Jackson, two towers. Okay. Wait, there's guards on yeah. both towers? Yeah, Can you there's... sleep on both? So there's four guards total. There's two on each tower. In the no, tower within that. near? Do I need to get a map out for them? we? There's two, there's two guards on on the top of the parapets of of each tower. Yeah. But are the towers them? connected, and are they close yes. enough together for? So they are. Get them? Yes, they are connected. Um, no, they're not. Uh, like no, they're not like close enough. Like they they it spans the entire uh road. Okay. You know, and the roads so, like at least two move actions across. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So they're like so, far. So oh, yeah. then, Ostrom, try to unlock the door to one tower and then climb the other one to sneak attack. Okay. I was thinking of doing both, but let's, yeah, let's, uh, um, West Tower, let's unlock that and then head up the East Tower. So stealth grappling hook. Okay. Start so, things. all right. So, what's going on right now in my head? So, and you all know. So it can you can make an informed decision. Is that the shift you're doing this after the shift change has just happened, right? And the other group yeah. is left, mm -hmm. right? Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was. Perfect. Okay, good. That's that's in my head as well. Okay. That's what's going on. So you can imagine this is like the first like, you know, X minutes, less than an hour of their first part of the shift. So they're getting ready. They're they're still looking around, getting, you know, getting their probably getting ready to finish their dinner or whatever. Uh they're probably having some kind of conversation about um, what their goals are this month, where they're where they're going to go on holiday. So okay. Um, and Caius will go with. Caius is also quite stealthy, um, so he he's going to try and go with uh, Ostrom and Drom. He'll hold back a little bit uh, and let them take the lead, but he's basically there as their backup. If these guys are fighting, we are going to. Yeah. What to with sort of. Is the from the ground to the top of the tower? Is that near or far? Near. Okay, right. So I could actually sleep from the ground. Yeah, it's near, but there's no like way for you to move to to there. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it is it under thirty foot? It's right around that thirty would, feet. That would be near. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And can am I? Is your question whether or not can I misty foot misty step up there? That or just to the base of the tower, so I don't have to cross the ground. Uh, I can get within thirty feet in cover, and then misty step the rest of the way. So can I'm just like immediately against near? the wall. Well, once I get to the wall, I can sleep uh, from near, but I need to be at the base of the wall essentially. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so we can take them out in the in the uh, the uh, west tower, right? And then, but mm -hmm. my chances mm -hmm. of crossing any open ground to the tower without being seen are yeah. next to none. 
Yeah, you can definitely miss these up there. Probably. Right. Yeah, cool. Right. So do you want to take one tower on locking? I will do that on the other tower. Hopefully they don't notice anything's up whilst that's happening. And Hedge Hedgewater and Mill are gonna be waiting about where they are now to help out Ollie yeah. if we need to because Mill can go invisible as a half thing, all that stuff as well. So yeah, there is backup. Fine. Okay. Uh roll with advantage for unlocking. Mm-hmm. That... As a thief. Do we want to do this in initiative order? Like, do we want to just assume that that Ostrom won initiative and go in order just to keep it clean? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. For precision purposes, I like that suggestion. All right. So Ostrom, okay. you, yep. Doors unlocked. 16. Perfect. Now flip over and ready to ascend the opposite side. I guess after he's done a sleep spell. Or, or you could start climbing. Right. You, you uh, yeah, don't want to, don't want to arrive there and to be put to yeah. sleep. Yeah, but you want to be close I'm on the other there, tower. You don't want to spend a whole turn climbing oh. up there right after he sleeps him because right. the other guards might notice. Yep. Yeah, I'm on the other tower. We, I can't sleep both towers. I didn't. Yeah. I missed okay. that detail. Yeah. Yep, so start climbing. Yep. But don't go over the top. Okay. Yeah, you begin to scale. No roll necessary yet. No roll it's necessary. Be, yeah, no roll necessary. Get there lurking just below the parapet. Yep. All right, Caius. All right. Caius is going, Caius and Drom are going to follow Ostrom. Uh, Drom's going to go up behind him first. And Caius will hang just a little bit behind them. Uh, and they will also begin ascending slowly. Yeah. Just behind Ostrom. Cool. Uh, right, Rom so and Gond. Stairs, One. actually. Yeah. I want to. I want to. Uh, well, to be clear, Ostrom unlocked the west tower that's closer to where we were hiding. Uh true. Yes. And and then moved across. Caius also moved across with the other because he's also stealthy and has armor that's quiet. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay, hang on. Gond? So then, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not what I had in my head. I thought you guys were unlocking okay. the towers you were in front of. Like, if you have to creep yeah, across the cool. like the front of the gate, yeah, yeah, yeah. like this is I different. Mean, I thought you were kind of like we're already situated and working on the equal towers that you're already under. But if you're no, swapping no, towers here, that's what I thought as well. You free do yeah, that tower. Think, Ollie's, yeah, Ollie's going to deal with the west tower. Okay, you know I mean? divide and conquer. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's about that yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, uh, if Ostrom's unlocked this door, and then him and Drom are going to climb, and Caius is going to go up the stairs quietly. Okay. Uh, by himself. Um, Gond and Brom are over on this side with everybody else, and they are just waiting in cover here to rush the tower door. Uh, they've got crowbars, and they're both strong. They're just going to wait, and basically if Ollie fucks up the sleep, they're going to rush in, blow the door, and sprint up the stairs to kill these guys. Okay. Before Ed goes, I want to explain my rationale of what's happening. Right, so this is all working just fine, and you guys are all as stealthy as you can be. There's no role for you to be proactively stealthy. The question is going to be whether or not they hear you. So I'm gonna on my turn. I'm going to roll an awareness test, and against your all's stealthiness and climbing and stuff. So on my turn, you will roll this as a versus test against whatever I roll at that time. Okay, does that, that make sense? Be, would it be with disadvantage for the the mithril stuff? It be nighttime, anything like that. Um, no, uh, they will be rolling just normally because they can hear just fine. But the question of whether or not you're rolling with advantage because of your stealthiness or thief skills, that would be in your favor. Yeah. And also, we won't have a penalty because yeah, yeah. We're, we're clanking around yeah, in a bunch yeah, of yeah, yeah. heavy yeah. shit is the real Whereas thing. Whereas I, I do, right? Like, because I'm just in regular yeah. banded mail. Yeah. Uh, okay. Shall I do my turn? Mm -hmm. I think we're good ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I think um, I think Mill might activate his his invisibility and move to the entry entry door into this tower and just get ready with his longsword. So he's going to have three rounds of invisibility. That door, I think, is locked. Yeah, but he's going to if anyone tries to come out. Okay. Okay. So you'll be at the base of that door. door. Yeah. Um, Hedgewater is Hedgewater is going to stay in, in cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now everyone who is, has declared something stealthy, except with the exception of Mill, because they're invisible, there were no way to see them. Um, we're going to be, I'm going to be rolling my, my, my test. And this will be the benchmark for everyone else's. Um, let's say, all right, so there's four people, but I'm not going to roll four people. Okay. Instead, I'm just going to add five to a single roll. Or would you rather me roll for four people? No, five, just roll. five to single roll. Yeah. I think just single roll. Yeah, because if they hear one person, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. There's four people like, There's four people listening out. They're essentially just helping each other. Yeah, so that's kind of like my thought here. So I'm just yeah. going to do that. And I'm rolling in the rolls channel. Okay, good. Okay. Nice. Uh, your difficulty test for being stealthy is beating a 10. All this planning, and all you have to do is just rely on my shit dice. <laughs> so everybody individually is rolling. Don't forget, if you're a thief, no, no, no. if you're a thief, you get to add advantage to your correct. Your rolls. Um, so, so this exactly. So everyone who's gone so far, who has done something stealthy vis-a-vis -vis climbing a, a tower, unlocking a door, you know, getting in, uh, sneaking into into the tower. That kind of so stuff. just Bostrom and Caius and Mill, I guess. Well, no, Mill's in Caius is... Drum. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're chilling. Are you ready for Thieves of Fire? Yep. Unsurprisingly. And he's Caius, right? Caius is good. Oh, Caius And Caius is, right. is good enough. Coming upstairs. He stumbles a little bit, but he just stops his sword from dropping. <laughs> okay. Um, so my turn, I don't have anything to do. I'm just hanging out here with the other brothers. Okay. Uh, on my turn, I attempt to cast Misty Step. Watch this happen. Uh, I think. Am I, am I the, the memento? St um, if only you had luck in. instead of using yeah. it on invisibility. <laughs> Well, I mean, I wouldn't be needing to cast this if I had invisibility, right? Uh, You're yeah, that's that's plenty. Right, so I'm at the foot of the tower, and then next turn, I'll be able to cast sleep. Ah, uh, okay. Now, Eric, are we going to have to re-roll if we just don't move because we're waiting on sleep? No. No, it's... Uh, I, I, I believe Let It Ride is in play here, so... Yeah, okay. So if the situation doesn't really change, there's no reason for you to go back to the dice. Then I okay, think, so are we, we good just... to just advance to Lewis's turn again? Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so, yeah. Oh, so, both, so, so both thieves are now in position to take these guys, right? Or yep. are they... Yes, they're, they're basically hanging out, like, you on, know, like basically side of the a, tower. Yeah, on the, on side, the side of the, of the tower, tower, like ready to go. Yeah. Caius is right below, like where the the firing platform is that these guys are at. And uh, our mission yeah, is okay. to not murder them. We wanted incapacitate. That, that was based well, on being able to take open. both towers, at the, uh, all the guards at the same time. I didn't realize there was two man towers. Right, but clock, um, we can clock them on the head. We don't need to to yeah. stab them through their guts. I mean, you could do non-lethal damage and knock them unconscious, maybe. Or you can just, like, like grab them and, like, you know, like, yeah. you know, take them hostage, then, you know, we just tie them up, right? But anyway. I, yeah. yeah. All these steps backwards. Uh, we can always heal um, them up afterwards, too. Are you, so you're sleeping the, the tower above you? Is that the idea? Yeah, the west tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got two guards on the top of the west tower. Mm -hmm. Um... He steps backwards right. um, to get a bit of an angle on it, and then he goes, boom. No. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so, yeah, that doesn't happen. Is it clear that when sleep fails? Like, does somebody yes. know that somebody just tried to do some shit? Yes, okay. you're covered in glitter. <laughs> like, you're covered in, yeah. in, in the gold dust. So if that's right. the case, right, two, the right, two boys, we're, we're just rushing the tower. <laughs> then it's Ostrom's turn now, and it's it's go time. Oh, shit. Are these are the guys on our tower still surprised 
uh, because they didn't get they didn't get fail slept. Um, I think we go to initiative. Just, I, I think the only fair answer here is just to roll initiative. Oh, this does it. Okay. This, yeah, okay. because whether or not they know now is a question of who acts first, which is a question of initiative. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'd rather just do it that way. But yeah, seeing like, yes, I think it's very obvious that they would see someone covered in dust and glitter. It's, it's you know, it's basically it doesn't make necessarily like a firework explosion sound, but it's, it's definitely like a like splash of, of dust everywhere. Yeah, I mean there's definitely a somatic component to it. Like yeah. the guy at the foot of the tower is just starts. He's suddenly there and is is now talking. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. classic! Yeah. All right, can you beat Probably the classic it's... Eric ten? Apparently, yeah, he already has it. Uh, oh well, yeah. Funnily enough, it's Ostrom's turn anyway. All right, so so it goes top of the order. All right, Ostrom. Yeah, the new thing is. So I guess it's over the uh, over the parapet and and. Clunk some guy on the head from behind. So we're yeah. we're still working under the you, non lethal approach here. Oh, yeah. Wow. I will I will say everyone in this other tower who hasn't gone and stealthy, you're definitely in an ambush, like you get your backstab stuff. For sure. Yeah. Because just stab him. It doesn't yeah. matter. Right. If they don't die, then we toss them to surrender. Yeah. We have priests that can kill right. them afterwards. Just so am I rolling with advantage for the attack? What is it? How, how what am I rolling for? Just a regular attack and then the then yeah. it's a backstab? Correct. Yeah. This is a melee not shooting his bow yet till you actually get to where I'd roll two, two damage dice, basically. All right. Down. Oh. They go down. He's down. Nice. Okay, these guys Hooray. are super high level, then. One down. So let's get our other guys over the... Uh, Strom is going to do his uh, sneak attack now. Um, Damn. Damn. What? Um, but it's okay because Caius is coming up. Uh, so Drom Drom jumps on a guy, and the dude manages to push Drom off. But then, uh, as he shoves Drom back and like levels his sword at him, Caius just emerges from the trap door behind him with Nightwind. Yeah, there we go. Oof. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, uh, humans don't count as humanoids, correct? Humanoids correct. is non-human creatures that look human. Correct. Good, re good memory. Got it. Okay. Um, so Nightwind doesn't uh, eat this guy too bad, but Caius is going to run him up. Yep, they're dead. Six damage will kill that guy. All right. Uh, so uh, our tower done. Yep. Eastern tower. Uh, and then the brothers. The this is clear. Uh, and then the Gond and Brom, the two older brothers, are going to breach the door. Um, so they uh, run across the open, uh, run up to the door. Um, Gond is going to be the one who breaches it. Um, he's got, um, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a crowbar and 17 strength, so, and is a fighter. All right. Well, you do not have time, tools, and training. You are lacking the first one, so you're gonna have to roll here with advantage. That's fine. Uh, do I roll with advantage from being a fighter with a? Yeah, with advantage. Arm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. If I want I to miss. Be... Yep. <laughs> Such a fiddly syntax. Add that to the bingo card. Somebody, Ooh. somebody missed. Oh my. Oh my god. god. Nope. All right, so he he can't get it open, so now Brom has to try and kick it. So there's an almighty crash coming down from the. Uh... Oh, we've got another. Okay, but this is where. Does he also get the advantage? Assuming he just grabs the crowbar. I mean, Brom Brom's got grit, so I think that will count as advantage. Okay. Does this count? 
does grit count for this? Yeah, as totally. Well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does it. Okay. Yeah, so Gon's like trying to wrench the door open, and Brom just throws his whole body into it and blasts it open. Mm -hmm. um, That's how Brom but that is up both on, of the other. Uh, that is Drom. There's three brothers, oh, okay. and they have similar names. Yeah. yeah, which is the most dwarf shit in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Don't so worry, you are not the first person to have gotten that confused about which brother is where. I constantly Gon, torture Brom. Eric with it. Yeah, it's gone, so, Brom, and Drom. I, I've, I, they've all gone now, right? All the dwarves have gone. So all the dwarves have gone. It is now Hedgewater That's... who needs to get up there and kill a guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, Mill, Mill still has a round of invisibility left, so he, can he get up the stairs and attack one of these guys in the tower? He's um, a, you can ace the tower already. He's basically standing next to no. Gond. And... No, you're in hiding. Wave. Um, no, 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 he's he, Mill no, was he's... invisible at the door. Oh, Mill. Yeah, m sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mill. Yeah, yes. Mill. Yeah, Milk. Yeah, it's a. You can get up there. In, in okay, so Mill's gonna uh, attack with his longsword. Does Mill sword. get advantage for being invisible? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for he sure. He does get advantage for being invisible. Okay. They're completely, un they're completely unaware. Keep highest one. Plus two. Uh, 19? Yeah, 19 nice. will definitely hit. 21. Your, your target here is a 13. His... Uh, sorry, I'm on, uh, 1d8 for a long sword. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, six points of damage? Yep, that will kill one. One left. Uh, okay, cool. And so Hedgewater can't get into combat this round, though? I don't think so. Uh -oh. he... You could throw a spear at him. That's. Oh, can I can I throw a spear at him? From, from yeah, you could probably past? move. Oh. You could probably move and find a, a an, an area to do it. Hit that Come six. On, Hedgy. Hedgy, we're relying hit on you to hit, to hit it. Mm, okay, uh, 1d20 plus my plus, what's my plus now? Your mighty deed should be that uh, two. you daze him so he uh, can't call out. Yeah, yeah I was going to yeah, say something yeah. like, I want to I wanna try and hit him in the, I want to try and hit him in the way, like, hitting his throat or something, you know, like I'm trying to stop him from shouting and crying yeah. out. Yeah. A way that disables him so he can't hit, oh, you hit eight, six anyways, so. Uh, no, I'm not, hang on. Uh, oh, I'm 1d4, so I'm 1d4, I'm level 2. Right, here we go. No, uh, a javelin. Uh, oh my gosh. You have I luck? my luck. luck. I've got luck. Yeah, yeah. All right, re-roll the, th re the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's better. Well, I don't hit the right. mighty deed, but I do... So you uh, gotta just make sure you kill him. 1d6 damage with the spear. Plus oh, two. Plus, plus, two. plus two. Yeah, yeah, plus yeah. Two. Four points of damage. That's just enough to kill him. Oh, so <laughs> Oh baby! All right, you have to, you have stealthily taken, or well, yeah, you have you took the tower. Let's just say <laughs> task task succeeded. Uh, now let me just do a quick thing here. Let's see if uh the people at the Temple of Thoth uh saw the explosion with the and everything the from and the glitter and everything from there. Um, they have a height, so I'm this won't be disadvantage. Uh, and also, I don't think it will, but they have to, I'm not, sorry, I'm gonna roll a 50-50 to see if they have advantage or not. A dog. No, they, they don't have advantage. Well, yeah, but they're high up. Like, yeah. They're busy yeah, pulling no, their gear and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're excited about their haul, their chat to each other. Classic Eric 10, dude. Okay. Uh, nope. All right. Okay, we'll just... We will hustle into these towers and wait for these guys to go past. Are they wearing like particular uniforms, these guards, or are they just? No, they look like a just a cadre of adventurers. I don't. know, Do you all wear uniforms? No, I mean like yeah. the, the the guards so, in the tower. Oh, the head guards. you say oh, that? Yeah, no. Caius and his boys actually do. Uh, yeah, they yeah. all have Cai Caius's new uh, fucking sigil, which is just a a, a scythe of Debelaton with uh, that's pulled like. You know how, like, on craps tables, they have, like, those, like, things where they pull the dice off the table? Yeah. It's the it's a scythe pulling a set of two, like, 2d6 off the, like, What's, what are the, off of a table. What, what dice numbers are on the, on the dice faced up on the graphic? The skull. Is it, is it, is it snake, is it snake eyes? Uh, is it seven? Is it a 12? Or, you know. It's a one that's a skull, and then the other one's just a normal six. Okay. I mean, six. is it not three d six and it's six six six? Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's lucky, lucky, lucky number seven. All right. Cool. Okay. 
Cool. All right, and so it was. Uh, you all take over the towers. Um, these guys are none the wiser. Yeah, they have no they have no logos or anything like that. Uh, so do I have anything on Ollie going to the top? Yeah, I think Ollie's Ollie's like shaken. He's like he like just looking at his hands. He's like, I could have stopped this. I could have stopped this. Um, <laughs> he's any, like pulls have... up there and he sees like all these dead people and he's like, Caius, <laughs> Caius from across the way. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you can still I... fireball <laughs> Kaya, so uh <laughs> do, do these guys um, have anything of in interesting on them, Eric? Uh, and also do they have any like supplies that they've got up here, like chests of, of gear, like with oil flasks or anything else? Oh oh uh, yeah, glad glad you asked. Yeah. Uh each respective tower so so this treasure will be symmetric. Okay, so there there's double everything I say. Um yeah, there is uh sixty arrows, uh six fire flasks. Uh, a week's worth of rations, as well as uh, let's see, uh, you know, a day's worth of firewood or a night's worth of firewood, so two stacks. Okay, Ostrom can take um, an army with all this. Yeah. Oh, uh, and I mean, each of the per each of the people that you killed um had like a horn on them for that they would around a chain for signaling. Oh, uh, that's what would have happened on your round. <laughs> well, I hadn't killed him this year. That's why you yeah. had to hit him, dude. Yeah. Um, do, do, do any of us uh, do? Does anyone in the party speak uh, Forkin? Yes. Okay. Cool. Because if I, if we have to, yeah, if these adventurers come through and shout anything up, they might be expecting people who can speak Forkin because that's normally Caius. Caius can speak all of the common Imperial human languages. Okay. Cool. Let's just hope your fame has not preceded you and they don't recognize you. I'll take off my fancy helmet <laughs> that that has the aforementioned logo blazoned on the side of it yeah. okay and i guess the rest of us well we need four people right or to be knocking about um... yeah but i mean only one person needs to talk we can do yeah yeah, yeah. But everyone, everyone else just needs to stay up stay outside to let go and then once we're gone we can lay down some cow traps we can decide who's going to set the ambush in the ruins and who's going to be up on the tower and all that stuff yeah yeah so they... going to put night wind down just so it's not visible mm -hmm. night wind that's a dead giveaway Nightwind has abandonment issues and wants to go back and rolls off its stand towards you. Uh, he said, I'm just kidding. He just says, shh, shh, it'll be okay. Just a minute. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so th this adventuring party of six uh, looks pretty, like upon closer inspection, looks pretty haggard. Like they have a pretty exhausting time. Um, they don't, clearly are not looking for a conversation. They're just looking to get these gates opened. Have the, sorry, to have these gates opened. Kaius will like give like a signal to to open the gates and uh, kind of give them a nod. Real quick, Eric, do they have yeah. anything that like really stands out? <laughs> no, Looking I, down at them, do we see anything? Um, I mean, their backpacks are are bulging, and you hear the the, the jingle jangles of coins. But like, no, I mean, it's not like one of them is carrying like a magic, you know, spear or anything like that. Um, only you know that's the only kind of shit that would be worth killing these people over. Money nah, worth yeah. I mean, okay. I to give you some context, maybe like one of them has like a like a like the bottom part of a stat, like the base of a statue is like sticking out of the back of one of their packs. Yeah, you no, know, it's full of full of treasure. Caius gives them a respectable that. respectable up nod, like good yeah. work, boys. Yeah, cultural but, culturally like appropriate up nod. Bef before you open the gate and let them through you should just try to confirm that they're not that they're actually the adventurers and not like the they're just tired from climbing the stairs to go take everything for the halflings yeah six I mean, doppelgangers I, <laughs> I'm, of course yeah <laughs> be like oh yeah good adventure what would you what'd you see like how much did the halflings charge you that sort of shit oh they yeah, take yeah. their cut Usual ten percent. There you go. Oh, they dropped it to ten. Well, they said it's uh, it's it's a sliding scale right. based on, yeah. it's a sliding scale based on how powerful they think you are. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna bug them too much. Yeah. 
mostly because I'm trying not to be memorable to them. Do a great job at it, being forgettable. Yeah, I mean they're just excited for a, a, like a properly cooked meal tonight and getting to this this heavy ass statue backpack off their backs. Yeah, they'll let you go. It's fine. I swear to God, if they come back with a cart. <laughs> We'll kill him then, and we'll have missed out on nothing but a bunch of money. And loot, and statue parts. <clears throat> but no one's no was, no was carrying like a, a whole bird, right? That was, <laughs> that'd be obvious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would, I definitely... In your backpack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I definitely would have told you that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Kai's is like, that, we know that they're interested in the halberd. The halflings are probably bringing that. Yeah. I mean, how long have they had the halberd? Have they? How often are these delivery runs? Like with the once a month. Like once a month. Okay, right. So this is the first time yeah. since. I think it's. And they've had the halberd for like a week and change. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's longer than that, but I don't think it's been a month. But it's hard keeping track in this game. But <laughs> okay. I know. <laughs> One <Sweet>. month. <laughs> I know, right? I God. even slowing the game down to that. It's like, okay. Well, yeah, because well. I guess technically we haven't even really been playing for more than like two months. Yeah. But, but God, um, so okay, much has now that they've passed, do we want to set the caltrops? Do we want to just wait yeah, until we yeah, get yes. heart? I mean, I think immediately gone. Now, Hedge, Hedgewater Gond and, and Brom are going to. Yeah, so the Gond and Brom go out and set the caltrops in front of the gate. Of wait. basically like Yank. The, the gate is closable. Oh yeah, right? we just closed the gate. I, I didn't. We... I didn't realize the gate was. I, I just kind of assumed the gate was ruined like everything else. No. Uh, no. I I didn't describe that I guess, but the actual gatehouse here, like a lot of lo lot of work has been put into re-establishing it and constructing it and getting it set up right. Yeah, so you maybe did. It's just this is actually the first time I, I have been in a session where we've got anywhere yeah. near the, yeah, yeah. the the gate tower. I've always been on the standard Eric opening. Oh yeah, the standard Volgaris oh. opening. Yeah. So uh, to be fair, all we need to do is keep the gate shut, right? The halflings are going to come up to the gate. And yeah, keep the gate shut. We'll run up and behind. We, look, we run up behind. We chuck a load of cow drops down behind them. And then we just and then we ambush them, and they're stuck in front yeah. of the gate with nowhere to run. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, okay. Right. We'll see if they're all going to go invisible. The only thing is, they're all going to go invisible. That's the thing they're going to try and do. So I don't know if we have any counters to that. Oh well, yes, we do. Mistral Edge, do you want to be on the ground with the rest of us? I want to be on the ground because I want to. I want to have a shot at actually killing one of these halflings. Okay. So uh, we actually can see invisible. Well, uh, actually, no, I don't know if this was Mistral. Uh, Mistral can detect shifting rooms, secret doors, locate objects. It was, uh, I think it was the other, it was that orb that we found that actually detects invisible, yeah. oh. hidden, incorporeal, ethereal. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that orb that Caius has in his backpack yeah. right now? The Kintsugi, yeah, so the, the Kintsugi uh, marble prism? Yeah. Yeah. So you could do that, or I could have Mistral locate an object that is on the halfling, basically, and just follow them that way. You would have to know an item. You know. Yeah, I think they'll I probably mean, abandon. Yeah, I mean, I think they'll probably abandon the treasure. Right? They'll probably go invisible and just try and scatter into. Yeah, the but area. if they do go but, invisible, but, I want to locate the leather armor that that halfling was wearing. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, but like, I'm not gonna like screw you over. Like, oh, they they would probably think that they would be. They're being tracked by a like, located of an item that they're carrying. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're yeah, yeah, yeah. like, how would they ever possibly conceivably know that, right? Like exactly. I'm not gonna like I'm not playing these people stupid, right? But also like that is literally there's no way like they could do that, right? Exactly. And no. Um. So unless yeah, like, I was just saying that so that if they do go invisible, we have at least one way to track one of them. Yeah. So like, um, I will hold on as a GM. I I do want to point something out to you all, like. Mm -hmm. it, you know, um, like, because I, I never actually have said this before in this many sessions, but like, because you don't have a public place or a private place to discuss plans, there is a small percent chance that you, things could be overheard. Yeah. Right. Like that's just been implied. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. But you're good, Ren. You're, you're good. Yeah. So now we wait for them to come. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, by everyone's counting and time, by midnight, nobody, nobody's here. Nobody, nobody's left the Temple of Thoth. Do we keep waiting? 
so. I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, by two o'clock in the morning, um, you see some signs on top of the Temple of Thoth. There we are. Some, you know, baboons carrying sacks, you know, <laughs> uh, size uh, group coming down here. Um, For some reason, I don't think that's accurate. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So you guys would have brazen light, right? And so, yeah, so what you see on, like, what you see at the Temple of Thoth as, as far as activity goes is that you see the continual light from, like, beneath the temple. So, like, you see it kind of, like, flash up at the temple for a second and then it, like, kind of seals again, you know, because mm -hmm. you would, you would expect the people to come out and things like that. Uh, the people coming out don't have any torches. Can halflings all see in the dark? No, no, no. Um, no. no. They've got magic goggles. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, I think their plan is maybe to just navigate in the dark based on the light of the um, fires that are up in the watchtower. Yeah, they know where to go. It's a big clear road. So, because yeah. I mean, we yeah. we would have lit the fires in the watchtowers because otherwise it'd be sus as fuck. Yeah, watchtowers everything is dim. everything is normal. No, nothing different going on here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ten minutes goes by. You don't see anything on the roads coming towards you. I mean, it's a long walk down from the top of the temple, so. It's true. We'll give them some more time. Ten more minutes goes by. You want to flutter the lights or something? Uh, like one second. Signal? Yeah, one second. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Ten minutes goes by. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Mm. Um, I think we're still... Just waiting. Do uh, are the is anybody up in the tower able to see anything? I mean, I presume that's that's. Is the whole party like up there? Seeing nothing. Or right. uh, it's Ollie. Ollie would be. Ostrom is up on top. Yeah. Yeah. Ollie does. What's the range on silence? Um, it's far. All right. Oh, okay. Cool. There are. No, uh, there are a few things though that are happening tonight that you would probably that would probably get your attention drawn, um, somewhat. Um, you hear, uh, death screams of goblins coming from up here, the near the ruined estate. Um, tonight, okay. uh, you hear the. There's a goblin base over there. We don't know. You just you just heard uh, rap a uh, you know a a murder or or multiple murders and scrot like yeah ter a terrifying like grumbly roar come from there. Um. Also tonight, uh, you know, Grass and Orstrex takes flight. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, it's all right for us. Um, mm -hmm. For all intents and purposes, the dragon's avoiding you. You know? Just like he always does. Doesn't seem that he doesn't know that you're there. He knows that you're... Like, you you know that he knows that you're there. Right? Or is it like she? Like, he's able to... He, yeah. Is he just able to see, the like, in the dark? Or oh, absolutely. With perfect like vision. Yeah. Thing? Yeah, for sure. You, you can assume that dragons can see perfectly in the dark without any concern as far as... As just like daytime. He's got the fucking infravision. He's just yeah, flying for, over like a not even, SR-71. Yeah, not even... In, like, he has, like, infravision if he wanted it to use it, but he can just see it in the dang normal eyes. Like, for all intents and purposes, in my head, like, a dragon is basically, like, an unbeatable apex natural predator. Whatever it needs, it has, basically. Um, mm -hmm. As far as things goes. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not important. It's That's just, that's just local color. It's been 30 minutes. No sign of the halflings. You saw the light of the Temple of Thoth at 2 in the morning. It's now 2.30, and you have not seen them. Mm, this is bad. Right? They've got to do that. Where could they have gone, though? Flick the lights. They're probably waiting for a signal or something. You have you have your, your, your campfires burning. Yeah, like, is there right? anything in front to, like, 
kind of block it and do like Morse code or something. Yeah, we don't know if they're expecting that or not. That might just make it more suspicious. What if they've, what, there's two there's possibilities. One, this anchovy guy, like how, how well did you trust him? Has he double crossed us? No, he's just some random hireling. <laughs> yeah, he's just some random hireling, right? But if, yeah, he literally has no. He's got no particular loyalty to us. If he got paid more money by someone, he might have just gone and told halflings. Yeah, but they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have known he was our hire. Like, we've never worked with him before or anything like that. Is there anything going maybe, on? Well, maybe he worked North with them before. Well, I mean, like, you know, like, other intelligence groups have ways of making people talk, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think they've got to, either got to this guy or have they decided that they're, they're going to go take the stuff to the goblin market instead, right? I don't think they're, quite, un- they're not they can't take it. They're not they can't take it to the they're goblin not. market because the goblins are they're on site with them. them. Yeah, that you can probably confidently rule out. And I will say that as a GM, okay. you can rule out they did not go to the goblins. I mean, it takes an hour to get uh, up to the temple, right? Yeah. Well, there's some big stairs. Right. Um, Is there anything going the north of the gate on the uh, outside? Like if they've gone all yes. the way around. Uh, well, to the north slash east of the gate, you see Krasta Nor, uh, Noratrex, uh, swoop down to the city, and you hear more goblins' deaths. <laughs> Jesus. Sucks to be a goblin. Um. You think about, uh, what King Wiscannon asked you all to do. <laughs> so, so, anyways. The other possibility is that halflings have some sort of tunnel. Yeah, that was getting the route from that dude was the important thing that he didn't turn it on. Yeah, I guess we just didn't roll good enough on the spy. Uh, so the point is, this dirty do- night now. We can't we can't really double double. But I mean, without without lighting lights ourselves, we can't really because yeah, another route they could be go they could be doing the the reverse Bulgarian <laughs> and heading I mean, along we- the river, right? Right, so do we move to the temple then? Because we know they came out of there. We move to the temple well, and we get them on the way back. Hang on, how long does it actually take to get up or down the temple? I thought it took at least an hour because we had to burn a torch getting up and down. No, that's, that's going up. We've seen them from the top of the temple coming towards us. How long does it take to get from the temp- top of the temple to us is the question. Yeah, but from the top of the temple to the bottom of the temple before they could even come to us is one hour. It doesn't take an hour. It takes an hour. To it doesn't take an hour to get down the stairs. Yeah, it takes an okay. hour to go from the stairs down to the halfings level in the te- in the temple. So, do we there think is... thirty minutes is enough for them to get then from the top of the temple down yeah. to I the road? Thought... Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. I, w- I wanted to clear something. Yeah, I, I, I want. I want to say something so it's, it's it's logistically clear. When you climb the top to the top of the Temple of Thoth, you're about fifty feet above ground. That does okay. not take a torch at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple sets of stairs inside the Temple of Thoth, like going down to the dungeon. That does not take any torches at all. There is a 300 foot stair that then goes that debouches into Goblin territory. That, or uh, sorry, a uh, halfling territory. That t- I, I was presumptuous of me. That does take a torch. Does that make sense? So, so as soon as we saw them exit, realistically, they should have been on the road in 30 minutes or something. Yeah, yeah, you definitely should have been able to see them within at least twenty minutes because you know they'd be coming down, and then within, you know, definitely within thirty, you would you would have spotted them. They didn't go. They they did not go down. Yeah, they did not take the north gate. They went a different way, or they didn't go any way at all. Yeah, or maybe that wasn't them. Maybe that was something else. The uh, the standard vulgaris opening. Is there a, f- a cart path possible through there? We don't know that they're even taking a cart, right? They might just be mewling they, it. Yeah, they're probably just taking it in packs, but they would need light to go that way, and so we still haven't spotted them from the towers. Unless they have some way of being able to see in perfect darkness. Well, there's that spell, um, the Brack Terrace effect, which means That's that you can't see light, light yeah. outside of your own outside of the lights um, radius. So do we think the wizard comes up with them and risks his hide for a supply run? No. I mean, I don't know how long the, the spell lasts, right? He could cast it on them for long enough. Or they might have some sort of dark light. Or... Top, I think it lasts the same as a torch. Yeah. 
it's possible they're moving down the road now and we just can't see them but in a minute they're gonna have to reveal themselves to get through the gate there's one possibility yeah maybe yeah. they're um, just trying to be invisible holding all the stuff i, I would yeah. say point of order the other possibility that... Yeah, cool. we can't. How much of, of this can we even really like signal to each other? Like, we're kind of just we're all in different places, kind of just sitting here. Yeah, I think. Oh, sure. I mean, if you don't want to, yeah, I mean, if you just want to, <laughs> if you don't want to discuss it, we can just we can just develop stuff. So I assume we're just going to stay here and see what happens. Look, right? I can assume. Yeah. Look, look, I'm, I'm okay with discussing it. The way I see it is that this is pl this is infer we're not actually having this conversation in character. This was contingency planning that happened before. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm cool with you guys keep yeah. discussing it. But also, if you also, I'm not trying to hamstring Ed's decision of like, or Aaron's of like, let's just make a decision and move, you know, rather than just mm -hmm. um, circling. So either way is fine. That's fine. I, I think Caius would commit because I, I don't think anything else makes sense. If they have just some completely secret, like unaccounted for way, we're not going to completely avoid this ambush. Our our ambush was never going to work anyway. So let's commit yeah, yeah. to the plan we have. Yeah, exactly. If it turns yeah. out it's we failed, yeah, yeah. then it's back to plan C, and, and we, we fucking kill them because we're better. Yeah. So, we, I, but also we can. It might be that it's a, that they might not take the treasure this way, but they might bring the supply cart this way, right? So we can get them. We can get the supply cart. Maybe. Um. So we should stick. We should stick here until. Just keep waiting. Possible point. We keep waiting until until I mean you know like an hour before the watch change the next watch change and if it's getting then we slip away, they find some dead guards in the tower, you know. I think they don't even find. I think we take the bodies with us and we make it look like something just got them out of the city. Yeah. Or a race up here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we continue waiting. Okay. Um. Ten minutes goes by. Nothing shows up at the north gate, but the temple opens again. Yeah, they're mm. back. Oh, wait, do can we tell from this distance if it looks like people going back, down, and in, or whether we see more people coming out in the light, or is there not enough light? Not enough light. And it's right. been thirty. You're minutes seeing, total now? yeah, you're like watching a neighbor like door from like four ways out that just occasionally will open and you see yeah, the light yeah, from inside yeah. the house and like you know you don't know if someone's leaving or, or going in but has this been enough time for them to get to the end five minutes uh no no yeah, oh absolutely yeah. not no, absolutely yeah, not right. so then mm. keep waiting yeah maybe that was just the first batch of stuff okay. another group was coming up after right. with more uh first light minus 40 minutes now okay Nobody at the north. When gate. does the when does the second um, guard come on? Uh, that's that's uh, our hard limit, right? Like basically six in the morning. Like you're at the end of the first of the two watches that you're. Okay. Just just tell or, us. Sorry, you're like the start before. of the second watch. Yeah. yeah. Just tell us when it's one hour before, and we'll get out. I think that's what we just got was forty minutes before first light. Yeah. No, forty minutes from when we saw the first light. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I sorry. Uh, right. To a different um, I understand how saying first light could have been confusing. I, uh, that's how I interpreted it. This was like yeah. two forty. Yeah, this was like two forty a.m. right now. Sorry. This is like two forty. Totally good. Yeah. yeah, Lewis we're, speaks we're Eric. <laughs> Thanks. We, we, we still got like two and a half hours. But um, so. all right. Uh, after ten minutes, uh, that from that second light as well, right? So this is again t minus forty. No sign of yep. no sign of anybody. Again, nothing from that second set of light. Keep waiting. Okay. Um, minus 50. Nothing. I mean, I think keep waiting until we see something on the road or it's one hour before. Yeah, that's the that's the rule. Is that yeah. it? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. yeah. We can't go track things for the, for the city. We have to just hope it works. Right. And if not, we have a, we do something else. Okay. One hour before watch. All right. Through. Let's grab the bodies. Um, we're gonna basically take them into the city, and we're gonna throw them in a basement somewhere. Ghoul food. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ghouls are gonna find them, and that'll be that. Race generator. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't give a shit. We'll get somebody else's problem. But basically, we're gonna look like something came out of the dark and just snatched the night watch. Yep. Um. 
Lock the doors again. Lock the doors again. Gates closed. I literally, I literally was going. I put my hand on my mouse to go to the GM channel for me to make memo to self. They didn't lock the door. <laughs> I literally, literally was going to do that. So you're very we smart. We didn't take. We didn't Somebody take has any watched a vod time. before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I watched. We that don't episode. don't take any supplies. <laughs> Leave all the supplies there. Oh, I'll, I'll put the, the fires flag. running. The fires I'll put are the going. Flasks yeah. Got to keep them going. So then, and then we are going to go to the Temple of Thoth and um, actually do we want to actually do we want to go to the tent now we want to come through uh, yeah it's the uh, yeah we're going to go to the goblins and we're going to come from their side yeah go to the goblins and where is the goblin side you were saying that's off to the east somewhere we can't yeah, spend the, them. yeah, they never put the it on the map. They never put it on the main map where it is. But they told us they oh, told okay. us how to get there, basically. So, oh, okay. So I suppose we point. probably should put that on the main map, shouldn't we? It's yeah, this, but uh, you're right. It's this basement over here, isn't it? It's where it says rubble chucked, <laughs> rubble chucked, rubble choked stairs down. That's the stairs down to the goblin area, mm -hmm. which is um, directly west of the Temple of Thoth. That's oh yeah, the... that. So we need to burn two torches to get down. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's really close to the basement. So it's in. Yeah. The... Okay. So... Yeah, it's close to the plaza. Yeah. We, were saying... uh, we were here we a were few times. The... Yeah, it was only one. It was only this one like random pass session that uh, you all uh, had enough time searching this one particular spot that you found it. Yeah, two torches burned from Brom. Okay. Yep. You you descend the seven hundred twenty five feet to to yep. the goblins. Now we're in the halls. Uh, yeah. Ask a goblin for directions. So they ask a yeah. uh, well. The goblin, the goblin watch is, is asking you what you're doing up so late. Uh, any sign of uh, their friends? Their friends. Uh, patrol was due back. Uh, a recce uh, group was due back, and they haven't haven't heard from them. Did you see anything? Where were they? Oh, your <laughs> your, like, your friends are are probably. Not in good shape. Like we saw the dragon out. We never saw your friends. Mm, but we okay. think we heard. Oh, we heard, oh don't, don't worry. They, 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 before you say it, like, they, they talk and say, oh, thank, okay, thank the dark ones. Okay, then they're just probably hiding. They'll be back later. <laughs> so they, yeah. Do yeah, you, do yeah. you break their spirit or do you tell them the truth? Yeah, you don't have to okay. expand on the truth I told them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. They they will enjoy their uh they they will smoke their copium for a little bit longer uh, as they as you guys go on. Um, pretty tired. Uh, uh you dumped because wait you dumped the bodies and stuff right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, great. the bodies of the guards. Yeah. Where'd you? Yeah, but where'd you dump them? Can you just like roughly? Sorry, I know. No, I'm dump, doubling back for a second. Where did you just approximately dump them? Did you dump them in the river? Uh, did you dump them near the Tower of Scrutiny? Like, where'd you dump them? Did you dump them in the north uh, dump section? Them in, dump them in the river. Yeah, like the, the fast, fast flowing part of the river. Yeah, that'll work. Send them over the. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Send them over the waterfall. Yeah. Assuming the crocs don't eat them. Yeah. They'll be gone. Or a priest cellar, priest residence cellar, beware poison gas. We could put, dump them there. Don't dump them there. I think we're. Good. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back into the in Goblin Zone territory. Okay, thanks. Yep. Um in in the Joblin town, uh there is an arrow to the north here. So again, it's not really this is not really a dangerous adventuring area, so like the, the perfect mapping was kind of eluded for the purposes yep. of expediency of time. Um there are three there are three exits out of the Goblin or four exits out of the Goblin Territory, right? One to the surface that we know of, one to the Lizard Folk Territory, one down to the arena, and then one that connects to um, to Kellick's uh, watch station in the in the outposts. Yeah. That's where we want to go, right? Yes, I guess. Yeah, because apparently that has some sort of connection to the to what you want to go yeah. to, right? And what we want to do is we want to end up, if you look over at the Temple of Thoth map, we want the goblins basically to direct us to the place where it says Gabos. 
Yeah, here. So that we can come up because then we're past the portcullis. They must have, Rafis must have this really defended, but I don't know, we're going to have to see. They probably do, but yeah. uh, we have, we can, it, at the very least, they don't have a physical barrier that can stop us coming. Okay. Uh, so this passageway, uh, let me just make sure the tunnel climb, let me see how far this goes. Okay. Uh, the passageway up from the goblin territory is a light, is a, uh, Time passes situation. This tunnel climbs steeply upward for 250 feet. Uh, no, I misspoke. That's later. Sorry. Um, I have the wrong. I jumped the gun. This part is from this zone to this other zone. There's so many maps. Here we go. Okay. Um, this takes... It is the main passage, which goblins ascend to level 5. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... I don't see anything about the distances, so I think time passes just fine. Or not, it uh, doesn't pass. Okay. So. Yeah, you all will arrive on the far western, because you've never taken this spot before. So as far as, uh, we need to go to the bridge map. Over here. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, you will... Just come up somewhere, you know, in this vague area. Uh, that's probably pretty clear. Um, you arrive in a 25 by um, 10 corridor that sort of makes a, uh, a sickle shape. So I'll remove my blue line here. So until you can find a spot for where this goes, uh, I'll just kind of start drawing it for you over here. Uh, Looks something like this. Ostrom is enjoying this tour. He's completely lost since he's never been to any of these places before. Goes up. Looks to a T intersection. But you can see that this T intersection, um, this, this will eventually, this connects to this. You can see because there's all the goblins and stuff there uh, moving around. Feel free to clean that up as you see fit. This, you said this will eventually? No, that does connect. That actually, it, it adjoins right there. There's no uh, distance like between. That. Yeah. Okay, okay. so um, there is a dang goblin skeleton crew uh, in this communal area. There's probably only about... Like 20 goblins, so basically half the normal force that's up here. And they all are just basically like you can look around, they're all like the, just the most, um, you know, the least trustworthy goblins you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, so when you come out of here, uh, they they look at you and they're like, Cole, drink your honey. piss. I want to see you drink your piss in reverse. Mm -hmm, good one. Okay. It's worth a shot. And they look kind of demoralized. Nope, can't get any toll, can't, and they look all sad as they're talking, like, can't get toll, can't s kill lizard folk, can't, don't get, uh, get sent to guard duty against stupid halflings, you know, they're like, <laughs> it's like, they hate their, well, they hate their existence up here, their yeah, like, morale has never been lower. Ka Caius, Caius immediately steps up and is like, you want to prove yourselves? We're going to finish them now. They, um, yeah, do you want to make a charisma test to see how good that is? You have a you're a bard, so this is like you know you're proficient in this stuff or an advantage on it or whatever. Okay. Because you're literally rallying people to be like, you want to go, oh, oh, oh. bro. <laughs> We're hope, yeah. Um, no, okay. So actually, what I'll do is, I mean, here's the easiest one. Okay. Uh, no. Um, 
they say, no, Toll, it's your fault. And uh, we're going to go to initiative. Uh, his knives come out. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to luck that. I don't. I don't have luck. Okay, we just saw our, our friendly bard chat with these goblins, right. and they all got pissed off. Great. All right. Of the twenty, eight of them are willing to to throw down with you. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> now, obviously, they're. I already described them as low morale, uh, but they think that it's your it's your fault. They're clearly acting out and blaming you for their problems. All right, uh, do we all we all rolled? Looks like uh, yeah, Caius. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Caius, you're the first one to go. Yeah, they pull a knife, and Caius is like has such a like bewildered look of confusion on his face, but reflexes take over, um, and he just. Uh, now, Nightwind, Nightwind activates Giga mode. Yes, it does. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he decapitates the first copy. With a spear, dude. <laughs> uh, it's like a railgun through a watermelon. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. Caius just right. immediately impales oh, one and throws him against the wall. I think Which, it's safe. Uh, I think that's safe to say that combat's over. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, say. fictionally, dude. Like, fictionally, that, like, sorry uh, to get everyone's hopes. Yeah, I think that one is uh, very much uh, yeah. a one and done. Uh, they the were like, are like, ah, oh, shit, we hit, we, we went above our weight class here. Yeah, okay, you win. You're right. It's, we are to blame. We are, you yeah, know, we will work on our own uh, issues. You're not the problem. Like, All right. We will be the problem if you keep this shit up again. All right. Yeah. You now, killed. Now, which way to the which way to the half All right. Uh, you you decapitated Tick Knocker. Oh, oh. rip! <laughs> I'll never knock any ticks again. Yeah, and then he just he just grabs the <laughs> in, next in the, nearest in the one black and just gates. says like, <laughs> yeah. and and just says like, show us the path. <laughs> right this way. <laughs> They're like ready to go. Uh, yeah. They, all right. Uh, they take you to um, the barricades watch station uh, to the ramp to go see Gog. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll take. All right. Gog's up here. He lives on his lake. It's like we're not we're looking for Gog. Gog. We're looking for the goblins. Oh yeah. The halflings. The halflings. The halflings. Wait. The goblins or the halflings? The halflings. Halflings. Ah, the halflings. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sorry. Should have said something. All right. Follow me, and he'll take you back. Who has met Gog before? Anyone with us that has met Gog? Yeah. No. yeah. Again, these guys are like literally inept and bad at their jobs and bad at you. <laughs> like, like they're not good. Um, so oh, it's they're... Like none of us in this current group have actually met Gog before. It's all been yeah. our Yeah, we have. Characters. I have. Oh, you have. Okay. So. Uh, mm. Okay. You you know we're off to to pass by. And right. Caius has met Gog, I think, in King Wiskegan's court. No, not on his island. You have not seen. He wasn't, he wasn't there. Oh, he would. Oh, okay. No, I, but 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 King was kind of yeah. There. Well, he yes, okay. he was there before, and was kind of mentioned that Gog talked to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gog doesn't go too much. For, he doesn't venture that far from his cave. Um, but okay, so yeah, there is there's a guard duty post here, and then there's a long way to the top. This is the time passage check that I misread to you earlier. This is a long, okay. swivelly, um, tight vertical shaft that will extend up about 200-something feet. I'll read it to you again. Once I get it open. This is the wrong dang section. It is so easy to get lost in these, this fucking book. This tunnel climbs steeply towards uh, upward for 250 degrees. Or, sorry, 250 feet. So I would require, yeah, so mark off a torch or whatever, burn a torch for time passes. Uh, I can go ahead and burn a torch out of um, one of the brothers to inventory. Gone to burns a torch. Respect. I gotta make okay. room for all the loot we're gonna get. Yeah. All right. That's the thought. 
<laughs> Such optimism. <laughs> All right, you were, were uh, you show up or arrive in a what I mean looks like the like a outline of Italy kind of style looking cave. Um, not that they're Italian, it's just that you know it's kind of like a weird kind of like boot shaped uh, natural cave plan. Um, the height from the heel to uh, top of the shoe would be uh, 40 feet, but it's pretty narrow. So it's like, at, you know, the widest, it's probably 20 feet. I don't know where you want to draw this. I'd draw it um, probably down here where it's sure. just yeah, Dabos. Where, where you would tie the laces of the boot. There is a barricade set up. Um, there's a couple goblins up here. There's only like, let's see how many exactly. All right, yeah, there's four goblins up here. And they see you climbing up here. And uh, yeah, with their uh, spears pointed at you, they say, Toll! Drink your piss, your piss backwards. Uh, worth a try. Can't do anything. What is that? Is that they, a password? Or something? They, they sound exactly the sad. The, like, like, oh, they're just, you know. Yeah, that. that's the password we learned. From, well, some of us learned from Gog. Before. No, we didn't get it from Gog. Where did we get it from? Yeah, no, it was, it from, was Gog. from Gog. Yeah. And we pass the word around. So. Yeah, to say that they works. That's what like that's what Gog says, and it works. So if if you use what Gog says, they will be like, okay, you're friends with the Gog. Or that, at least that's the implication here. Okay, so I said, so where you tie your shoelaces or I could on just this boot show shape? them. Yeah, night spear <laughs> or night wind. Yeah, I just night. show them night wind, and it's like, I, I, I have a good day. <laughs> king. Yeah. Um. No, they don't. They're not that loyal to the king. That's 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 pretty clear, especially these guys. Like these guys are, can't be trusted to go down to lizard folk lair, right? And these guys also are kicked out of basically the uh, the kingdom. The you know, duty. yeah, they're on they're on guard duty in the middle of nowhere against the halflings. Like you know, this is like the Eastern yeah. Front. <laughs> they just want they just want to get rid of them. Yeah, it's bad. It's like, like they don't want. Fractions, right? Yeah, exactly. So these guys are the yeah, they're not their best and brightest. So, anyways, there is a uh, slope. Um, but you're gonna have to crawl through. Um, they tell you that the halflings are up, uh, up there. You care? They got traps up there. N just smoke. Smoke. Did somebody draw the boot? So the tip of the boot does that connect into this map they gave us? Don't know. Don't know yet. Okay, so we're still not there yet. So, um, yeah, you're you're I don't just actually know how to draw in Miro. There's 40 feet of um. There's a little pen tool, and I've just been using that. But um, I think for actual mapping, you have to like cop. It's it, line, drawing lines is weird, and like half the time yeah, you just want to. It doesn't matter. Okay, look, Did you're you're climbing 40 feet. So yeah, there's a slope. There's a slope up. Um, and yeah, there's definitely like you can kind of smell the smell of smoke. Okay. Um, you can also um, kind of smell the smell of like burnt potatoes. So it's food smoke, not like yeah. piles of dead that's being burned smoke. No. Uh, it has an oily, like the smoke definitely does have like a cooking oily like texture to it, for sure. All right. Uh, so yeah, this extends 40 feet and um, you can see that this has clearly been excavated by the goblins, right? To to get their way up there, there's a couple bit of like handholds and stuff as it's as it's steep, um, sloping up. Uh, and yeah, you're arriving directly in the corner of a thirty by fifty um, room, but um, yeah, with a uh, with a passage um, on the north side directly up to the middle. So is that this oh. one that says camp? It looks like. 30 by 50. It is a, yeah. yeah. There are, uh, so yeah, um, this, this smoky room um, has ruined wall images. Uh, there is, uh, hmm. there are three plundered sarcophagi equally spaced in the middle. Uh, you can see that there are um, 
there used to be space and it looks like there's debris and trouble uh and and rubble that as though um this place was used as a campsite but no sign of okay no sign of anyone do we see any light if we check around the corner no um also uh yeah so this is a 30 by 50 room there is a passageway directly in the middle. It goes up one, two, three, four, five. It goes up seventy feet until a intersection. Uh, dark. We um, can't hear anything. Yeah, the, the, it's, a, a, it's okay. no, it's this whole place is like smoky, so it's kind of it's hard to see that far, like that. Um, but second of all, um, you don't see any light, uh, but you do see at about. 50 feet of this intersection you can see that um you remember like the like a like a halfling kind of barricade kind of pillbox kind of thing set up uh that if you it kind of is reminiscent to the the basement excursion um all those many moons ago Do you want to send this, this thieves forward to check this out? I mean, we're just we're just kind of rolling in here, right? We're not really thinking about what we're doing. Yeah, let's, let's find somebody. It's like it's all quiet. It's like where where's the enemy here? Yeah, but we want to watch out for tripwires, yeah. man, because we'll get we'll get hit okay. by their mortality poison. So the thieves need to go first and check what the hell yeah. if there's any traps because yeah. it, it will kill we you never, straight away. So we're considering ourselves on enemy territory now because I see Pony yeah. and Halfling written all over the place. So, yep. Okay. Let's get Ostrom very carefully up ahead. Do you have a lantern, Ostrom? I do not. I'm not carrying any light sources. That's fine. Drom um, will go with you with his hand axe and a lantern, but he'll have it shuttered. So it's very limited in light so that you guys are less noticeable. Yeah. We're just Probably. listening, prodding ahead, looking for a... Prozy, whatever you did. What the hell yeah, who, there? who just did that? It disappeared behind the. What just happened? It it appeared for one second and then disappeared again. Everybody behind off. the. There. There we go. That's my secret cap. I never clicked on. I want to know how to do that button to destroy the dungeon. And... Yeah. yeah, it's like uh, how was one nuke a level of Ardenville? Very easily, unfortunately. <laughs> Turns out, <laughs> cask of brandy. Uh, I know that's one of my regrets of the game. I didn't really, I didn't really think that through of that the explosive force of brandy, whatever. I think that I, that is very funny and I, reasonable. Honestly, yeah, it's, it was funny. <laughs> yeah. it, I think, I think, I think we have had nothing but a good time with that. So yeah. I don't, I don't think that. Yeah. The the lack of feelings. realism yeah. of alcohol bombs is like yeah. really something. We've been using oil as Molotovs this whole time. I don't think we're really running the, the actual the dang realism. Physics. True. Yeah, I know, right? We're using cooking oil to do this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. What's your background, Ostrom? Your character's background? Uh, actually, I forget. What did I put down? Scout. Yes, he is a scout. Okay, good. All right. So then this I, is what he does. That's yeah, this is literally what you do. And so I'm giving you as much information as I can glean. Because you can imagine you're creeping down this ten foot passageway. Your your eyes are darting between um any sort of motion and movement ahead. Remember, this is like looming smoke, right? Like you're basically clearing yep. a trench, right? But with no ceiling above you. Right? Uh you are so you're you're creeping very carefully, waiting for the next like ambush. Right, looking for what's around this corner, what's in front of your feet, um, and what you're finding around is you're seeing like, um, you you're like you smell the smell of spoiled uh, wine. Um, you don't really hear the sounds of cracklings of fire or the or like any sort of like deep breaths of of like soldiers or any sort of like whispered sounds um, as you move up this hallway. Um, in fact, as a scout, um, this place feels like it's been abandoned. Damn it. Like signal to. That's what they were doing. They were off. leaving. They were and leaving. I mean, we can all move up slowly. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, so I want to get into that 
or around to the corner of the intersection and look each way because yeah. we have I don't we're not we don't want to get ourselves surrounded if mm -hmm. there's but we don't have any voices. So it's like yeah. is there anybody noticeable in any of the three directions? Right. Yeah. Uh so nobody is noticeable. However, um you can see when you look to the east, you see there's a portcullis that is down. To the east, to the, to the right. Yeah. Or to the west. Or to the east. Sorry, sir. To the west. To the west. Sorry, that's yeah. to the okay. west. There's a portcullis that is down. Um, to the east, there is a approximately thirty by fifty room. Um, there it doesn't seem like there's anything. Um, like anyone, there doesn't look anyone's in there. Uh, but it does look like that used to be sort of like you know that's that's where the smell of the wine's coming from. Probably like a storeroom or something like that. So someone was down there. Yeah, but they're not. There's no in there now. No, it, it looks. Yeah, this place looks yeah. like it's been ransacked. Right. That's what happened, man. They got word of us. They bugged out. That's what the movement was on top of the temple. They're gone. Damn it. Yeah. We had the ambush. Is this the, the poor oh, well. you guys were talking about before? Yeah. 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 Um, damn it. How about straight ahead? What's down there? It says plummy in the map. We've right. got to the right. There is a 30 by 50 room. It has three sarcophagus, sarcophagi, just like the room that um, you, you left from. And yeah, in that kind of spacing. Um, up there, uh, there is a um, definitely signs of an old campsite. Uh, this one is def uh, also as well as like um, what look, just appears to be kind of like smashed alchemical equipment. Um, it's, and you can, uh, it's hard to like, unless you creep up there. All right. So for starters creeping up there, uh, you do spot your, uh, your first trap set up here, a trip wire. Um, that's a, okay. that's a, I'm going straight ahead. Right. So yeah, uh, let's dismantle that in case we need to, uh, be moving in that direction. Yeah. You see, this was set up to, um, to explode a, a, a thing of fire, whoever passes by it. So you can just okay. disable it, and if you want, you can collect yourself a, a an oil flask. Flask, well, good to have, just in case. So, uh, yeah, let's get everybody up here, at least to that intersection, and then we can scout out these rooms. Maybe there's some other exits right. from them. This place, this place smells acrid and uh, like sickly smelling, burning. Um. And you think it's probably all of the dang juice on the ground around you that's been kind of like left here and exposed to the air and aerating. Now, these are the halflings that make the poison, right? Correct. So yeah. that's probably what you're so, smelling. <laughs> I, just, I just don't want to find out that the entire place has been soaked in contact poison or something yeah. and we all die because we're walking around in the middle of it. Yeah. So does anybody have any knowledge that would apply before we just kind of dig our way through every little thing well for one mortality is injection poison um not uh not it doesn't poison it doesn't work as contact poison they have to get you with darts yeah like yeah, i can put it on the blade sword blades right but um yeah, there swords, is yeah uh there is a rubble filled passage uh right here You can see, based on the destruction of the equipment, you can see that, um, like there was a table and stuff set up, set up above that wall that, like, it was kind of hastily, hastily masoned, uh, actually, and like, like sealed up. Um, but like, you can see through the actions of trying to clean this place out, uh, they damaged part of the wall, uh, revealing that there's, um, that's relatively recent masonry. So, but rubble but, um, filled meaning like a, a, a real bar sort of barrier or, uh, Sorry, we could just sweep yeah. it. Meaning that we've got pickaxes Sorry, it's and both? shovels in our pack, so yeah. we could clear it pretty quick. Uh, it's both. Like someone, so so in order to seal something like this, rather than like filling it up with like a cave in or anything like that, like it's like it's filled. You can imagine like a, a rubble sandwich between masonry, right? And so they they blocked up just the last bit of the masonry, which like they must have knocked a stone out or a, a you know a brick out or whatever uh, in the process of this, and um, or maybe it wasn't that good in the first place. Uh, so you can see like the rubble behind it that's sort of like pouring out, which is definitely not like 
the rest of the Archontean stonework, right? Like that must be new. So how we long can... has it been since this, how long has it been since the second set of lights left the left the temple? Oh my god, at this point? Yeah, so Four long. Five hours. Lo yeah, at least yeah. five hours. Uh, H Ward is uh, I'm, he's gonna be stuck with an oath he can't fulfill. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Maybe you'll just find a random. Oh, did you say Halfling or Plumthorn? You're gonna have to yeah. kill your hireling. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to kill the Plumthorn. No, it's a Plumthorn gang yeah. member. Personally, slay a Plumthorn gang member. Damn it. Do we want to clear rubble here, or do we want to try to get it's... through that? No. Yeah. Unfortunately, think... Operation Kill Halflings. They, yeah, they have left the nest before you got there. Okay. That, that yeah. rat thief must have. Do we do we know Beginning. where the um, black forest, the, the the old forest gang is? Did that already get cleaned out? Um, would they be heading there? No, we've got another look, couple of weeks before the benevolent brotherhood goes after them in the woods. Look, the benevolent brotherhood are not going to tell you when they're going to attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they yeah, have all that's set. yeah, exactly right. They're and they're not talking about their plans in. Yeah. uh open pubs right where for yeah. people can hear but um the second part is um you you asked the question of whether or not uh they know where the their base is yeah yeah i mean, I mean they would know where their base is no do we oh yeah, yeah you charmed uh you charmed a lad yeah. Yeah, yeah so as far as i um as far as i'm concerned uh i never like gave you explicit directions because I assume that was going to be done off screen and stuff like that, anyways. But like, if there's any question, you have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's roll out. Move Which on. Means... Of, of game time. All these sarcophagi uh, have been opened. Oh yeah, for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, do we want to clear that rubble? They are no. Here's the thing. They are heavily laden down with all the stuff they pulled out of here. We yeah. are lean, mean, and ready for a fight. We may be able to catch them before they get to the woods. Yeah. Is it we reasonable? Get like Eric uh, above yeah. table, is it reasonable for us to try and chase them down over the course of no the miles you have to try to, and get there? No, you have to go down work. the stairs, right, and then get into the woods and stuff like that. By that point, there's a there's a pretty you would catch them like right like if if everything worked well for you, you would catch them pretty much right when they're getting to their tent or to their camp. And that's if everything worked right for you. What if we get horses in town? Like it's early hours of the morning Ooh. now. What horses in town? Horses. I, oh, horses, horses in town. Uh, yeah, because that's the it's even worse. The halfling base is. Right. It, it's not like the halfling base is by Gosserwick. The halfling base is like all the way to fucking. Uh, yeah. Past Ulfham. Yeah. But... Um. So it's like, could we go to Gosserwick right now? pay to get horses and, and try and chase ends. them down on the and try and chase them down before they get to the old forest you would you would be overlanding it well no you would have to go by the swift river it's not worth it not for one guy's minor oath no way like, it's this this is right i've just got i've got a hope of, i bump into one again at some point or maybe the, maybe the goblins have got like a half in prisoner or something I mean, it's, it's, it's not, worth it if we get that loot, right? Like, it, this is just if about we, your, if we your catch oath. Them, like, I'm happy to do it. Like, I, I want to fulfill your oath too, but like, that's not the only reason. If we get mm. Plumbotomous, not only it's the loot that they have, we can get Plumbotomous for another 2,000 gold. It's the bounty on every halfling we kill in the process. Like, it's worth it. Mm. What I'm asking is, is if, if is. Eric, is this even out of game possible like for us to really play? No, I'm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that they have, at this point, they have five hours ahead of you. There's not really a chance. Yeah. And we don't know if Plummy is and, with them. This might right. have just been the last group of cleanup people. And you don't know. And the the other thing that you don't know, right, is that, you know, yeah, you don't know if they're they're walking it, right? And so maybe I'm tipping my hand saying it, why it's no is because they're not walking it. They also have, you know, they have their own transportation once they're out yeah. of and full. Yeah, maybe they, they the, probably got that wizard probably got at work with them just teleported them. I mean, how how many how many of them are there? Like, do we know rough rough ideas of how many there are? Can we take them that we're here yeah. and then with a fire elemental and a bunch of fireballs? Do we just go and wreck their camp? Like, it's like a hundred plus. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, it wasn't the, the actual. 
It's not. It's, it's if about, you do that, it's about twenty yeah. and about at here, and it's about fifty or something look, at, the, at the base. Look, is what we told were told by the yeah. top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you were going to say something, Eric. Yeah, I was going to say that. that would absolutely work. Is what I would say is like, yeah, I think a fire, I think fireballing yeah, and, I, and I, fire elementally a camp of havelings in, in in the woods would definitely uh, send a message. That would definitely work. It would piss like, off I'm, the Brotherhood also because they wanted to figure out how to make the mortality. We only have thirty minutes, so we would have a combat against seventy halflings. Yeah, yeah, actually, right, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're we got an hour. We've got an hour. Yeah, we do have an hour. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, still. Like, I'm just like, so, what do we do with an hour at this point? First things first, can we just dig around for right. for treasure here? Yeah. Like, excavate, you know, excavate this tunnel. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Do we do we want to go? Can we rip open the there is... uh, the portcullis if we since there's no defenses there? I mean, the up? the portcullis is controlled from this side. I would imagine, so we don't need to yeah. just open it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm thinking yeah. like check these sarcophaguses. Um, they've already been checked. They're all empty. Yeah, this. Yeah, this mean, place. This this whole place looks well adorned and looking. Okay. But yeah, but they, if you want to, they were living. Yeah, here, like so. I don't know. But oh, like, you know, that's true. The lizard folk didn't find that one passage. Yeah, they there's living loads, there. loads yeah. of shit that the right. the lizard man didn't find. Like, yeah, now yeah. Now I assume you're taking your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're here. Yeah. We might as well turn it over. Okay, yeah. goblins. Yeah, like look. Yeah. Exactly. If anything, Gond and Drum are like, you know, you guys are talking yeah. about like, you know, right now we can go up the temple, we can get there in this time. It's like, you know, this is a blessing yeah. in disguise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Manling. Well, okay. Manling, this is a blessing in disguise. We can take this over. We can take their operation right now. I'm going to pull up Mistral and be like, hey, oh, beautiful, righteous scimitar, Mistral, do you, are there any secret doors or hidden rooms uh, in this area? It's, you hear it sniffing. No. And then walk down to 18 with the storage room they had. Uh, no, but one second. Let me check where, where is, what's your 18? Right. Um, no, but I would say, uh, I did gloss over this fact. Um, in the corner of, 18 there is a uh, basically space leading out to a a chasm like yeah, this chasm so runs chasm. this runs into this room okay do we know that there are um, spiders in there where it says spider chasm um, yes 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 okay and there's nothing down in 19 Mistral. That's where we came from with the cup that they're forward. Yeah, but we didn't explore. So, yeah, we didn't where, explore. What are you asking for? What's if Mistral sees any secret room secret doors, stuff like that. Like a no, shifting no room things. secret doors. Yeah, hidden no. things. No. No. Um no, but sorry, actually, uh in, in room eighteen. Mistral will actually flag something. I'm sorry, I should have read this ahead. But it's coming from across the chasm. So when you look out to the chasm and you can see it, it's like there's a door on the other side. An invisible door. It's concealed. Concealed door. Okay. How crawl it far across is the chasm? Uh from where you're at, uh it is only 30 feet across. Throw a grapple. Run a rope. Is there any, can we see it? Can we see where this thing is? Do we, uh, you yeah, can. I as still a, think we, yeah, Ostrom probably could and Drom could as a thief when, upon that uh, reflection. Yeah, I would say it's pretty much a straight line across. Uh, there's something, the there's something the there. Or like 10 feet off or what? Yeah, it's right on the ledge. Okay. And then, Lewis, you were saying something? Um, I mean, like, the argument about the Benevolent Brotherhood stands, like, yeah. We, uh, I, still, I was going to say we should still go kill these things. But, um, you know. Yeah. It's, 
the what you see over there it's not just a wall it's not it's not just a rock face it is covered with um vines and creepers if only we had that portable bridge what was that <laughs> in the the statue of the, death um, there was a 60 foot 90 foot portable bridge yeah what uh what gives away what gives away this door is that this door is not Archontian. It is the same like gray blue ceramic stone that you've seen from earlier today. Oh, so we see this basically a a thing on the other side, hidden behind leaves. Yeah, the scout or scouts and the thieves can see it hidden behind the vines that there's this stone that does not match the others. We're inside. We okay. see over there, go up three, three branches and go left, and you can see the little curve of the edge. So there's a thing yeah. there. So, so there's a question: Do we want to do we want to try to get in there, or do we want to get some? No, I think I think we should turn over this whole area. We can explore that room because I I, I think Eric's singled very strongly that we're not going to be able to get to the halflings tonight. So if we we can make a move against their base, like either in the next session or a later session, if we want to, if we don't mind, yeah. Off the like, but I think we've missed the, our shot at this, unfortunately. So we might as well take advantage of trying oh, yeah. to map out this area, Sorry. get it set yeah. up, look for all the doors and that. Like, yeah, so yeah, than, Sorry. rather than like charging across, rather than charging across. It was, such, way, a, yeah. Yeah. It was and, such a it was such a good time laid plan. Freeze. Yeah, yeah. We are going to have a time freeze during the like break too. So yes. yeah, we've got time to like plan this out of during game the during the downtime to yeah. do an assault. But, uh, you know, basically, when we come back. Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah, just unfortunately, they uh, they already their plans did not line up with your plans. All right, uh, I did want to draw your attention, uh, pun intended. I drew a uh, there's also a passageway right on the end of your um, at the other end of this chasm, about fifty feet away from that door that's facing out into the void. Uh, there is some sort of like natural hole, big enough that you could probably climb through, lead somewhere. That's all like natural stone or natural uh cliff. Okay. All right. Anyways, While they're yeah, doing let's that, could, could Caius have cleared this um rubble yeah. with pickaxes while uh, we that, were looking? No, that would take longer. That would be like a whole time passes roll. Okay. I mean do we do we I mean And burn you burn a light torch take, light torch. They yeah. blocked wanna, off, right? Yeah, yeah. They blocked yeah. off we, for a reason. Yeah. Do we want to do we want to take these rooms as a base area, right? We've got an opportunity now. That's what I'm saying. Come in. Like we, yeah, so the goblins are going to grab this as soon as we give them a shot. They don't this know this has happened yet. As far as we've gone, my up here, answer like, to this the deal is, is be... void. The deal was off, right? We didn't have, we didn't need their help in the end. And this is this is mm -hmm. this could be our area now. This is a perfect like, area to get to the goblin court. It's a good perfect area to explore the rest of this level. Yeah. We can get across the chasm from here. It looks like, um, but we'd have to we'd have to stick out. This our characters would have to stick it out here, yeah. like tonight and for a little while, and try and defend this. Place. We don't have any supplies. Is one thing we can. We can go back and get supplies. Yeah, now. we can go we back and get supplies. We can't station mercenaries here, though, right? No, no, we can't station mercenaries here. But you could. Yeah. But the next the next session, we move a, another group of PCs in here. We're all here on downtime. We bring up yeah. supplies right now. You can this is yeah. ours now, you know. You could fictionally claim this area via uh, like from the goblins, you know, because you can get here from the goblin space, and so you just tell the goblins, be like, "Hey, don't move in here," you know, or like get an agreement from the king that, like, "Hey, we, we we're looking to take out. these rooms." Where's the uh, way that the halflings got in and out of here? Oh houses. yeah, so there is a yeah. Sorry, so um, I didn't describe this uh this whole time. Um, there is a portcullis right here. Or sorry, not Porcullus. Uh, there's a switch, a lever that controls the Porcullus that goes into this large yeah. room. So let's let's get in there and see what see their base. Maybe they left something in this other in their main space. Oh, They've abandoned the, it. The main it this is the base. This is the base. Not yeah. It's right. This is the three rooms oh. behind the Porcullus that we did. Yeah. This area is just an entrance into this level. That la that stairwell goes up to the top of the Temple of Thoth. So they were so, and then they put their whole operation behind this portcullis yeah. in these three okay. rooms. So, Eric, you're yeah. saying we can fiction, fictionally we can we can claim this place off screen with the goblins? Yeah, you could ask for it. Yeah, yeah. it's on the table. Cool. 
Right. So do we want to just spend the rest of the session exploring then? Because yeah, I think we've so. not been able to get I think so. much time yeah, down here. Like these two let's southern go. doors that All we right, never so, open. Um, you open the portcullis. We don't want to do the concealed yeah. door. I like okay. I say, it's not a concealed door. It's it's been bricked up. They bricked it up for a reason. No, I think. I think. No, I'm talking. We're talking about across the chasm. Oh right, right, right. Sorry, how do we, I'm, how do we sorry, cross the chasm? Oh, we've got grappling hooks and ropes. Cool. Uh, Let's do it. I, I mean, I would prefer, especially because we have control of this, if we come with material to prop a bridge, because then we're going to be relying on agility checks and stuff to oh, get across the back. Yeah, okay. We have yeah. all the space stuff connected to the halfling base that we haven't explored. Now we have this base. Let's find out where it goes. And yeah, let's do it. All right. So let's just go to the main room, I guess, and and start opening. Right. Yep. Do you lift? Start the... with this door right here on the right. Yep. You lift the portcullis. Uh, this door just is looks exactly like room eleven. Um, nope, no, it doesn't. I lied. That's a, that's what a liar would say. Uh, this is a twenty by twenty room. And so, then, so and it is, if Ostrom is, just going around looking for traps and dismantling everything he can find, then the rest just kind of follow along, opening and exploring everything. So we're just, I think, methodical clearing, find out what the enemy left behind as gifts for us. Hey, yeah. hey, Rory, yeah. uh, it looks like the the grid has been moved underneath the map. It might be quicker to move it back and fix what we put down tonight. The grid has been moved underneath the map. It still looks like it's lined up. Well, if you look everywhere else that we haven't mapped tonight, it's all off by the same amount. Can you can you fix it? Because it looks all level to me. No, I see all what you're saying. Oh, Everything yeah, every we haven't drawn, drawn tonight in is wrong. Every port. Yeah, so it yeah, might be yeah, quicker yeah, to yeah. move all of those. But move yeah, the map back I mean, and redraw what we've done tonight. No, I can just move these. I, I think we should, yeah, I was just letting you know, yeah. Rather you try and fix. Look, someone else can fix this. Yeah, look, wrong. yeah. Someone else can fix the the whole map and the downtime. Okay. Fixing cool. it now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I lined up the stuff. We've got a month to fiddle with the map. Yeah. Let me, yeah. Cool. Let me fix these back. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, in this room, uh, it is. It. So so who's opening this door? The thief. Right. Okay. Um, the yeah. Room opens and you can look in. Yep. Uh, it's not locked. Um, it's a 20 by 20 room and it's just absolutely full of rubble. Um, you know, there's a, it's just a large pile of trash. Like, clearly this, like, broken bits of wood, you know, pieces of plaster, some skulls and broken bones in here. Um, clearly this is like a, um, like, when they cleaned out, the, when the, when the halflings or whoever was here, they cleaned out this place for the first time. This is this is their trash room where they put all the trash. And we do like downtime action to scrub and sweep everything. So that would be kind of the thing while we're making this place habitable. Okay, so I right don't want to spend all of our adventuring time turning over every yeah. rock. Uh, yeah, no problem. But uh, yeah, crawl. You see, you see, like. In, on the rubble, what you thought was a skull, like a skull moves in the rubble. You draw your bow, uh, yeah, and then uh, there's a there's a beetle that kind of moves itself out of here, uh, and then kind of just just blase goes back looking around. So there's some there's a there's a big old beetle that's living in this rubble filled room, but it's not interested in you. You could kill it if you wanted to, though. It could be our pet mascot for yeah. later. You see, its uh, its abdomen glows. Oh, far beetle, light source. Anyone know how to how to operate those, Mr. Wizard? Uh, no, Capture I'm, I'm not off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, yeah. A um. Be like an alchemy check. That uh, yeah, I'm you can. Yeah. Order. It's it's a the old the old classic uh fire beetle um glow belly can serve as a torch. Yeah. But um, okay. I've got a string. We could we could catch it. And I could put a leash on it. We could drive it around with us. But uh, you, uh, that's yeah. for later. But we're, but we're yeah, not trash. We're, 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 we're not looking through this room, right? No. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't think so. Let's okay. move on. There's another door on the opposite side. I think. 
the, to the west of that one. Correct. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Same. It's not locked. Uh, this is a uh, 30 by 10 um, corridor. Has this one, and then it veers off to the west um, about another 30 feet with a door on the end of it. Put, put, put. Prod, prod, prod. If they haven't been in here, there's nothing in there. But yeah. Garbage in there. All right. Um, so there's this wooden door uh, at the end, and uh, as you get close to it, uh, you pause for a second. Your foot's hovering over uh, the last ten feet before this door, and you see that this the the floor is not the same as the rest of the floor. It's ever so slightly off, uh, and you detect a covered pit trap in front of this door. Okay, let's activate that so that it's not. So it's yeah. There is a twenty foot deep. Yeah, there's a yeah. Uh, so there is a twenty foot deep uh, pit trap. Um, you can't find the mechanism. Like, like it's not clearly it's not weight bound. Um, your best guess is probably related to the door on the other side. So you have to somehow so um to trigger that. So you so in other words, you're having trouble triggering this trap uh, at the end of this corridor. So, so let me re let me redraw what this kind of looks like here, right? So it kind of looks like you said turn right or left. Right. Okay, turns right and then it goes down. Then there's a pit. And then there's a door. There's a pit. Yeah, exactly. There's a pit and a door. And the problem is that you see this trap here. You try to like press down on the pit on the trap, you know, like safely, and it won't yeah. trigger. It won't trigger the pit. Can I uh, shoot an arrow at the door? Handle yeah. Or something? Yeah. Yeah, you can try to do that for sure. Yeah. As far as something. See if sure. like, yeah. just jarring the door will trigger. Okay. You take your time, uh, just spend an arrow. And so it was. Control yeah. Control Z. Whoever did that. Was it Lewis? I didn't touch anything. Uh, can we move this to the back? How do we move this to the back? Yeah. I'm control. I got gotcha. you. There we go. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, with with time. Yep. You hit it, and then it opens the pit. It was connected to the okay. door. So there's a. But now, how do you get Maybe it? Maybe on the, um, for the other side. Yeah, we can figure out a way to get across. Well, it's pretty straightforward, actually. We have a whole bunch of uh, loose rubble available. I <laughs> sweep all the rubble from uh, the other Caius, room. Caius and the brothers just go back and we just start ferrying rubble and dump it into the pit. It's 20 foot deep. So that's going to take a while. Yeah, we're not struggling for in world time, uh, for out, right. out game time. Uh, in, yeah, yeah, we've got. We have all these other interesting things to to visit. Like, so, yeah, yeah. yeah or if I can, it, just, it doesn't take any IRL time. You can right. keep yeah. doing that while they. Yeah, You're good. Well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll okay. Exploring while they're. Mm-hmm. We can worry about that door. Okay. Yep. Um, you start cleaning up that rubble. Uh, or what else are we exploring in this time? I think while Caius and the brothers are, are throwing stuff in the rubble, it sounded like Ostrom and them were going to go to this main hallway over here with the T intersection that we never got to. Yeah. With the Statue of Thoth. Right. That's okay. So, uh, yeah. So this statue is a Statue of Thoth. Uh, he has the view of um he's an ibis headed scribe right with um so he's this is thought the recorder as he's known uh and you can see from here that this place kind of has a uh you know it's quiet as the grave it has sort of a death like repose as up and down um this corridor are alcoves like burial alcoves kind of like um the gold uh gold place Right, there's tons of burial alcoves here, or for ex- more example, the um, the catacombs that you were exploring with the with the cube. It has like these kind of burial alcoves around here. Um, it extends north fifty feet, extends south fifty feet from the statue, and there's alcoves all over it. Um, but f- yeah, five feet past the statue, uh, there is also a mural on the back wall. 
Um, the statue of Thoth here has no um, gems in his eyes. Like they were gems that have been removed by somebody? Yeah. But the statue's arms definitely are manipulatable. Oh. Let's make sure it's not like a trap that the whole thing yeah. plummets into a hole. And... Uh, as a thief, you could probably tell that, yeah, there's probably like around the floor here that looks like there's probably it's related to the arm placements. There's there's traps or or shoots or something that opens up based on the way these arms are are set up. Is but, there uh, a way to disable those so we don't just uh, so you have to actually operate them to to do pit things and trap things. Yeah. So it's not as long as I don't fiddle around, I'm not going to activate yeah. it. Yeah. But um is drama up here too? Or is Drom filling in the... Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, Drom's going to be with the, the main party. He's got the lantern that right. uh, Os, uh, it, that he's using is with Austin. Um, so there's is a there door at the end of this light? corridor. Yeah. On is the it, north? Is there, yeah. is there continual light in the main foyer? Or... Uh, in... Okay. Let me see. I don't think so. Okay. Just... No, so... Uh, wait, uh, the ceiling here, hold on, here we go, hold on. The chamber is lit, oh yeah, uh, no, it's, it's lit by, it, no, no, beforehand it was lit by torches by, uh, halflings. So that's but, gone now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's dead. Gone now. Uh, yeah, so this, this room, it extends 50 feet to the north. At the end of that 50 feet, there's a door on the north side, um, and then the, there's a gently sloping... 60 feet uh, westerly passage of more alcoves um, as well. Um, it kind of looks like this this map uh, over here with the rat on it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's this map, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's something. What was this but, mural? Uh, the mural is behind, like behind. Is behind this, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, there's something funny about this mural that's drawing your attention to it. Like some hypnotic magical thing or some mechanical no, thing? No, mechanical thing. Oh. Um, the nose okay. of Thoth in the mural. Okay. There's a lever in it. Careful, everybody. Let's uh, see if we can figure out maybe what it is. Yeah. You have, but, but you have no... Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there is there is a catch on in in the concealed in uh, in the nostril of the fresco of of Thoth here. Now you don't know what it does. It could affect the statue. It could affect the wall. It could affect some you know something else far away. Oh, it's like, in the mural, not not yeah. in the nostril of the statue. No, 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 no. It's in the mural behind. Check the nostril. Check the statue. Does it have anything matching in the nostril? No. No, it does not. Um, Should I press the button? Got uh, a what do I have? Can you press the yeah, 10-foot pole? Got... Press the button with a 10-foot pole. Can I stick a 10-foot pole up its nose? We got a 10-foot pole. I don't. Yeah. Someone might. I don't. I guess use an arrow. So pull an arrow and... Be, be shoot ready it, to shoot it there's nothing ready. there's there's nothing in the nose of the statue no i mean the, the, mural. Uh, the, nose, the mural i'm just trying to oh, see yeah. how far away we can get from there to to activate it nobody has a, a 10 foot pole i guess my longbow is somewhat long so it's probably six feet long so i can like maybe uh climb up on the statue and hold on and poke the uh, nose on the mural from there you poke it. And be ready to dodge. Yeah. You, you poke it, and you hear a click, and the w fresco kind of misaligns from the wall. Door, and starts folding in to the uh, to the south wall here, revealing a five foot passageway. Uh, extends heading beyond your torchlight, heading west. Carved stone or yeah, uh, standard Arcantian stone.
You said how far does it head? It's out of sight. We can't see anything down there. Yeah, it it extends at least sixty feet. You know, if not more. Um, Ollie's going to yeah. start raiding these burial niches. You said. Yeah. Uh, also, let me know if anything's detecting magic. You've got to know you've got a lot of going on right the now. The statue right? is the statue is definitely detecting magic. Cool. We're, yeah. Again. Um, would Mistral just update us if we happen to walk past something, or do I need to keep continuously asking it? What's what was the and what's the what's the question? For Mistral detects hidden things. It says shifting room secret doors yeah uh remind me when you're in a room because i this is a new thing so i keep I, yeah I, yeah i've been i've been moving so i don't know if the whole party is like moving together through here yeah. or what we're Out doing of, i mean just just as a matter of thing it'd be better if you just remind yeah eric when you yeah. when you want to use it because if, if it's a passive thing we're just going to forget it the whole time yeah 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 and that's exactly so i'm not trying to punish you with this thing i just literally can't yeah, remember yeah. like you know what i mean you've got okay you got Enough on your plate. But yeah, but that but that's why I was asking because have. I was distracted yeah. from trying to clean up the map. For sure. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um yeah, uh, to be fair, there is also a door down here, um, on the southern side. Uh mirroring the north side of this the, this this hallway stuff. Yeah. Um Yeah, so uh where are we and what's the light audit? Where is everybody right now on the map? We have um five minutes, by the way. No, oh, sorry, have, sorry. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm off. Why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> I know, I know because I know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's why. Let's uh, get some positive lights going, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna cast light on um, uh, my shield. Yeah, I have light. Um, so that'll take us up to the end of the session if there's no point in time passing. Okay. Yeah. I'm noticing we just found. The arms that move on this statue, and I'm looking at the map in room one that says arms move on many of the statues, which I assume means that other thing in the middle of room one is a statue, which I neglected uh, to ask about. Before. Sorry. Yes, that is also a statue of Thoth, but rather than being a statue of Thoth holding a book and a scroll, uh, his hands are open, just like the statue of Thoth that's on the top of uh, the Pyramid of Thoth. And if we're bumping into lots of statues that have mobile arms, then there could be some meta thing. We, we, we do semaphore signs with them all, and they, they spell out something and open the door. Yeah. Do something. yeah. Put them in the shape of YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Uh, so, uh, um, so it looks like, it looks like Caius, Bra Braum, and Gond are all dealing with this, this picture. We are there oh, until yeah. Eric tells us the holes filled in, and then they would come looking for you. Drom is with you all. Oh, yeah. with us. Okay. Uh, you def you you hear the sounds of rats uh, squeaking and 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 like movement about as you guys are spending more time in in this corridor here uh, somewhere in my X direction. That's where you're we're, hearing them. But we were we went we're going past that secret door behind the mural and pushing that way, right? Yeah, I know, but we just we just basically spent yeah. ten minutes here in front of the statue, yeah. and like now they're like mm -hmm, something's messed up. Smell something. Okay. Right. Um, uh, Kai, yeah. So I think I think Ollie Hedgewater and Mill were gonna just like look at these. There's yeah, alcoves yeah, yeah. on here, right? That's, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ollie, Ollie's got some light. So it's gonna rummage your alcoves. Yeah. All right. So you, the feed's doing whatever they want to do. These secret doors and statues. Or okay. Well, well, I can say that, Ollie's got. On you go, Eric. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, I was gonna say uh, it's rummaging through these alcoves. You put your hands through a few of them, and it's there's not that much in them. But uh, that's just is like a luck situation. If we take your time to search through things, we could just kind of on passant and say, by the time Gond and Caius are done, you've also thoroughly searched all these alcoves. So we can just do that if you're cool. Yeah, I I move did, from, yeah, move yeah, on from there. Yeah. Yeah. And Hastor, I don't know what Hastor is. What's Hastor? Um, so if that's happening, Ollie's going to stand here and keep an eye out for these uh, rats that we're hearing. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? Hastor's uh, sword could probably help you out here and be like, not that one, that one. That one, yeah. not that one. Actually, you yeah, know what? Yeah, no, no, no. Forgive me. No, Hastar will be quiet. Or sorry, um, uh, um, uh, your sword would be Mistral will be quiet here, being like, "Why are you desecrating the tombs of the dead?" Yeah, this is not lawful good stuff. Yeah, this is not it lawful good behavior. It says shifting rooms and hidden doors, yeah. secret doors. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. say like yeah. hidden yeah. objects and yeah. stuff. Yeah, my contract. Yeah, <laughs> my yeah. my sentience does not uh, cover this, and I will not. I elect not to 
lend think, it to you um, for this. Mike has sword detects well, gems, of... right? There, there's major that detect gems, yeah. that one, but uh, he's not here. So we okay. focused on just hunting through every little spot around here, or do we want to go down this mysterious well, we've time, long? We've got, we've got time to do it all because the thieves can do some stuff. Okay. I can do yeah. some stuff. Yeah. We, and the, those of us who can't do anything thief like can at least rummage your alcohol. Yeah. So we can. I just don't want us to scatter in three different directions. That are oh, we're going to stick around this. Yeah. In, we're going to stick around this yeah. intersection for the next. Yeah. Next I think right. we have we have now finished the time passing and the pits filled. The alcoves are searched, and now we all meet back yeah. up and we decide where we're going next. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So what did we find in the alcoves, if anything? Well, yes. I mean that that. The rats have, might have something to say about that. Yeah. Well, sure. Okay. Roll the random encounter. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Now that the pit's filled and we've finished searching. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the pit's filled. Does Brom try the uh, try the door? Or Caius try the door? Uh, now that the pit's filled, Caius will yeah. try the door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you try the door. It is um, feels stuck. have gone to pass me my crowbar back. Did you already check this one for traps? Yeah. I assume uh, Ostrom yeah. would have was there and would have seen traps. Caius is, is going to try and wrench this one open. Mm -hmm. Strength check it. Uh, I've got gauntlets of might. I've got yeah, uh, a crowbar. Yes. You rip off the door, revealing a wall directly behind it. You've destroyed a very good false door. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> it's solid. That's, that's a real ass wall. <laughs> Disappointment. Yeah. Uh, Caius looks at Brahm and God and just says, Next time, I suggest we spend 30 minutes filling a pit in, someone hit me. <laughs> and, then just, and then just goes back to the, to the main room. Yeah. All right. We are... Um, okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, rats, the rats are still squeaking, but not interested in y'all um, as you search this stuff. And here's what you find in your, um, your first time passes search. Uh, you will find a, gro a gold brooch uh, shaped like a baboon. You will find a small alabaster canopic jar with an ibis head. And you will find a silver backed mirror. I think is pinging magical. Um, oh, oh magic yeah. On it. Uh, nothing, nothing is, was pinging magical to you. That's what I'm saying. So don't, don't, oh, no, no, sorry, not, none of it. None of it's giving you. The, no, right. oh, sorry. No, no, no. no nothing there is giving you right. that tinnitus sorry, thing. Oh, uh, and sorry, you also find uh, 100, uh, so 159 silver pieces. So left, off, like... left off the dang money. Current, current type silver pieces? Yeah, current silver. Ancient? Yeah, not current. This whole area's been like, well turned over. Yeah, for um, sure. So how much have we explored? Do we push around the corner? Or do you want to go south? This other I'm interested. I'm kind of interested in going in going south with down to down to twenty, maybe. Um, we heard we heard that, that, that the the halfing told us that there is a statue or something here that we can put. We can press the eyes in, and it opens a, a, a secret door. Yeah, is, is that where it says "finger the baboon eyes"? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we've also we've also they also told us I think it's been lost on the map, but they did tell us a beastman at this way as well. Went down the yeah. Yeah. So I think it's more valuable to learn to get the layout of land in that sense rather than just like going for sure. the archives. But but it's up to you guys. I mean, if you want to. So instead of going through this southern small door, uh, we want to go finger the baboon house. Go through the southern door and see how that goes as well. If that's quicker. But... These things might all connect up. Maybe that yeah, but branch. Right. I mean, yeah. Well, the door's not locked. Uh, a quick peek down reveals a five foot wide. 50 foot long hallway going north south to another door. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, this might, we this pop might down and just have a look. You, uh, yeah. 
Listen, listen there in case there's the Beastman on the other One, side, two, since three, you said you worried about that. Uh, there are two things I would also point out as we were down here. Um, so 50 feet down from this corner where Ollie's at, you definitely see the start of the rat nest. And you can see there's a bunch of rats and there's a giant mess of things and kind of see the glitter of coins uh, in that in that rat nest. Uh, see rats. Sec second of all, uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. You see see a bunch of rats all over there. Uh, um, more than more than six, fewer than twenty. Am I just want back range or fireball? Yeah. We all, we all no, I mean the blowback oh, range of fireball. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you're safe. You're you're more than like fifty feet away. That's you. No doubt, you'd be fine. And also, we described that fireball doesn't is not an explosion, so you're not going to worry about. Cool. We're not doing. We're not doing no, square foot. No, no, it's a thermobaric okay, explosion rather than. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna fireball the. Um, you're the not worried about the library shit that's underneath the uh, the rat nope. pile. <laughs> nope, absolutely yeah. not, in slightest. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I don't. You don't get it done. Jeez. All right. I, I didn't didn't miscast, thank God. Though. Thank God it's this session and not not <laughs> Operation Throne session. To be honest with you, though. Yeah, yeah. But maybe get, this get is this, this. Yeah. Okay. Get this all out now. All right, but um. Yeah, it also, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so yeah, so this is like, turns this way. And yeah, there's like, the rats start there. Oh, the rats were over oh, they're down here. Right, 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 I get it. Right. Cool. So anyways, uh, are we, are we going down? So yeah, so the rat pile's not, uh, at the bottom yeah. south door. It's 50 feet the other way. You're we can just hunt rats. We can just... Go through and liquidate them, and then start scavenging. Well, or we can go I'm down. Dying to, I'm not dying to rats. No way. Let's just go south. Yeah. 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 These because these things can disease you, and then you have to play grand to like get cured. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's literally well, negative. It's a negative it's value like, proposition. Like, the campaign died from getting bitten by a rat. It's just put up a barrier, shoot them, then they run away, and then you advance your barrier and you shoot some more, and you just can't. But that would be very yeah. methodical yeah. approach, but. Exactly. Yeah, you get a, yeah, get a manlet, manlet and a crossbow. Yeah. Okay. Creep along that five foot passage. Check the door. Yeah. Uh, totally unlocked. Quiet as the grave. Uh, that's never been a good sign. But uh, I guess I'll nudge open the door and see what's on the other side. Hopefully, literally, no graves. Yeah. All right. Uh, nope. It is a T intersection. I'm going east west. Um, 20 feet off to the west, there is a large triangular room um, with some smoke in it and uh, some sort of large triangular metal like object pyramid type, you know, tetrahedron like shape. Uh, and then to the east, uh, there's a quarter extending one, two, three, four, five, at least 60 feet. Um, and off that corridor, about 20 feet or so, there's a slanted passageway going 45 degrees north uh, and upwards. And then there's a door um, basically across from there uh, heading south. So the weird triangle room off to the west. Uh, then off to the east, yeah, there's some branching corridors. Weird triangle room sounds yeah. appealing. But it's, do we uh, want to take safe that might connect to things? It's not a right triangle. It's actually an isosceles triangle. Which, I mean, of course, if you were going to put a triangle room in a dungeon, why would you make it equilateral? <laughs> yeah. I, I think uh, Ostrom is more curious about this strangely shaped ancient rooms. Are we doing more Ar Arcantian architecture here, or we got the, yeah. the ancient stuff? Uh, this looks like Arcantian. It, okay, is our so. mapping misaligned? Because you said this goes up northeast. So does this line up with this section we already have? And 25. Uh, yeah. OK. So then we need so to someone can duck down. So we now know just, we just make the Just make the middle hallway down more. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Down 
Right. So traps, in, in inside this, yeah, no, no, no traps, no traps in the in the triangle room. Uh, but uh, yeah, upon closer inspection, this is definitely a pyramid. It is a forty foot tall triangular pyramid of closely fitted granite. Oh, that's a big room. Um, that's a high ceiling. Yeah. Also, it has sort of like a um, American Ninja Warrior, like green smoke or green mist off the floor that covers the around the pyramid. Green mist? Yeah. It doesn't detect magical. Uh, okay, but how about does it detect poisonous? Mm, no. It doesn't seem... Okay. It doesn't have a... It smells like just like a watery mist. It doesn't have a... Insane. Nothing. Yeah. Go around this pyramid, like prodding it with a stick, tapping on. Is it hollow? Is it metal? Is it? Uh... No, it's it's definitely it's definitely solid. But it's a pyramid. It does have some steps um, up it. Um, as you get close to it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess there's lots of magic ping in in here. Yes. Does the not see any not, secret doors? Not the fog. on the pyramid. No. Uh, yes. Yes, actually. Oh, not the um, fog. The fog's not magical. The fog is not magical. Oh, um, right. okay. that's what I thought no, was but, magical. Yeah. No, uh, Mistral is definitely detecting um, some sort of hidden chamber. In in the room? Outside, in the room? No, like, inside the pyramid. The inside this pyramid. Inside. Okay. Uh, and also, it's like, oh, something's, oh, I gotta kill it. <laughs> like, it's, oh, oh, there's something else there too. Oh, I got it. That's gotta go. That's gotta go. There's something evil in there, but um, but Mistral doesn't see like a a door from the outside that we could get to to get in. Um, no. Okay. Do we want to finger the bad um, eyes and see? So, is anybody climbing up the pyramid? You said there were steps, right? Yeah, there's steps up the pyramid. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say Ostrom taps his way very cautiously, hoping that there's not a giant, like, levered trapdoor that's going to drop him inside it. Yeah. But, yeah, well, let's get up. Somebody needs to bring a light. Anyone want to give me a light so I can see when I get up to the very top because it's 40 feet up? So stairs, cut are into the, so stairs are cut into the granite that lead up to, like, a central platform on top of the pyramid. So you can imagine a pyramid that has not, that has, like, the top of the pyramid, like the, the upper tetrahedron part, like sliced off. So it's a base. Does that make sense? So it's a triangular base on top of it. Is that clear to everybody? Like imagine like a D4 triangle that has like the top part of the corner. The pyramid off. has been. Yeah. 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 So that's what it kind of looks like. And I'm instead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Instead, there's a central platform. Um, To to priests here past art and stuff like that this seems like it has a religious ritual right thing to it right for the, thought the platform up top the, this whole this whole area like oh is this is this like a mystery of thoth kind of thing right yeah but mistral uh, says it's radiating evil inside well. yeah mi mi yeah oh. mistral saying inside this there's a hidden chamber in here and inside this pyramid it's really evil My, it must be destroyed but the rest of this place is definitely ringing like, oh, this is like a Thothian, you know, uh, mystery. Right? We will come back and defeat that yeah. mystery. So around this, so, uh, sorry, I forgot one part. Uh, the walls of this chamber are all adorned in frescoes. Um, they illustrate Thoth uh, as um, basically being immortal. Um, through the conquest of aging. Um, Did we open that canopic jar can, we found? No. Oh, you said it wasn't magical. Yeah. No. Uh, and it's, and so it shows that Thoth is basically giving people eternal life, right? So like when it look, so when I say Thoth, def, Thoth's conquest of aging, you can see there's like old goblins and stuff like that, and, and old people who are like. Throwing up, you know, are old, go see Thoth, and then all of a sudden they're young again, you know, and healthy. Does that make sense? Yep. 
Okay. okay. So we're in. So there is. We're in, yeah. So yeah. at the top of the pyramid, right? On the top of it is, is a platform, right? And it, there, there is a, uh, the platform itself has a smaller, like, triangle in the middle made of lapis lazuli. That's um, built and, into it. Not yeah, that's built jewel. into it. Yo, oh, yeah, no, no. And and in the middle of that, like sticking out, like embedded, like a sword in the stone, is a uh, a metal bar. Which does it seem magical? Does it have uh, or anything on it? Yeah. It definitely feels magical. So is this a mechanical thing or is it type of or is it it feels uh, magically mechanical? Yeah. Okay, so the, it'll do um, something. Yeah, this thing. Yeah. Um, does anybody want to fiddle with the with the rod with the with this rod in in, in the lapis lazuli? Uh, heck, Austin was for this stuff. Anybody else want to stand around, or do you want to cower while I poke it? I think Ollie will stand it. well back and shine some light on you from from down there. Sure, below. I guess so. so Push it with a with a dagger. It's like Hedgeward is going to get ready to stab anything that comes out of the pyramid. Yeah, yeah. It's like right. okay. Like, do, does this thing move? Does it slide up and down? Yeah. Does the that... the only way the the steel bar moves is by pulling on it. So it comes up. Does that make sense? So like pulling it out. Yeah. Pulling no. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Like towards out. Yeah. It doesn't seem to leave when you if you if you do that. Like it seems like there's there's some give, but there's not like it's not, it's not it doesn't feel like it's gonna come out. Okay, and Toph is the god of knowledge and healing and good stuff, not of uh, necromancy and dying yeah. painfully. Correct, but there is okay. something deeply yeah. evil inside. But this may be something. sealing it in. But don't we want to like fight the evil? No, or it's... your sword does. All right. The, 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 yeah, the sword, sword wants to destroy what's Who, in there, is, but it's not like pushing us to do it. Is anyone up there giving you moral support? No, not me. You're shining a light. That's this. I'm, I'm shining. I'm support. shining a light from below. Where yeah, I'm I guess I has to be down here yeah. if Mistral was close enough to notice. Yeah. Right. The hedge warp so. has gone into the room with with Mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I said oh, I was I was Ashram. sensing for magic, so I'm there. Yeah. Rolling around. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Ashram would be. Uh, heck, it. gonna on pull top. this thing upwards and then be ready to bail as fast as possible. Yeah. Yep. Grab the bar, give it a big pull. You pull the you pull the steel bar as hard as you can. Uh, it comes up. You feel like a lock, and then it wants to if you, and then it kind of feels like it wants to reset and go back down. You know, like there's no like, you feel like a clunk, and then you feel like there's less resistance. And if you would let go, it would kind of like reset. But nothing. But it, when it when it does that clunk sound, uh, you feel like there's a click or a ratch inside the um, inside this pyramid. But nothing happens. Oh, like there's multiple things. Like I have to, like it's you, you've uh, like a flipped like the it's a puzzle room. Yeah. Does, yeah. does yeah. Mistral sense a room shift inside the pyramid with that? No. Okay. Mistral's like, well, I, guess I don't I know. I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah. Mistral's like, I'm not a fan of Thoth anymore. <laughs> Let's just kill Thoth. I don't know. Kill, kill, kill anything related to Thoth. Let's go raid those tombs. Th clearly, this is bad. Yeah. When he puts it back down, does it? Do we hear kind of the reverse sound, like the the thing that happened? Yeah. No. No. Okay. So we switched something. So now we look. We want to look for more things that we can uh, can diddle yeah. to a. Uh, do things, sure. but the, the the world didn't end. So I think a uh, hasty retreat might be a good good thing. Do we want to stick our stick our fingers in the? Yeah, baboons? let's go fiddle the fiddle the baboon eyes. Fiddle the baboons, yes. Sure. And okay. there's a door there. If we want to look in look in there, on the right, back going towards the baboon. Yeah, uh, there's a it's a peeking in that door is not locked or trapped. Um, to the south, there is a. Uh, 50 foot long, 10 foot wide corridor leading to another door on the end. How about we do the baboon first? Right. Um, so at the end of this passageway, this can, as you get here, it continues on like this. Uh, but there is a room uh, that kind of is doing some weird, another more like weird shape room. 
uh, like this. Goes down 20 feet, and then 30 feet. 40 feet, I'm dumb. Is it like a weird hex again? Yeah, it's like this. Because fuck you, mapper, right? Yeah. It's off-centered. It's not off-centered. It's a perfect square. I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just I have MS Paint skills. All right. Um, so, yeah, this room definitely has... Uh, I, it's, it's well lit, actually. It has a, in the center of the room. It has that sort of like LED bright light shine over it. Uh, this room also has the gray-green mist. Um, just like the uh, the triangle room. However, there is a 20-foot diameter pool in the middle of this room, right in the middle. The liquid of this pool is dark and sludgy and brown, and it reeks. Oh, is it another healing pool? Like the one in the basement? Do you think? You've seen that. You've been there before. It's a... Yeah, the, heal the healing sludge. Yeah. Is it reminiscent of that? It does smell reminiscent of the healing sludge. So. Doesn't seem very toffee to have a magic pool yeah. full of stinky, stinky. Uh, so I would say, yeah, I would say as a, as a priest, you would say that this pool has been defiled. Um, mm. That it wasn't always this bad. It still has some of its purified um, properties, but you think with some, you know, with some money, holy water, and ritual, and you could yeah. you could purify it. But its magical effects of this pool are still reminiscent. Is that clear? Yep. Yeah. yeah. But Coffee it's it's sorry. It, it's it's not a shitty pool. It is a twenty foot diameter pool, like made in, in oh, stone, sorry. right around. It's nice. Sorry. It's you know, it's not just like water in the middle. It's a. Uh, sure, it's all okay. yeah. It's actually like a feature. So wants to, that sounds like somebody needs to make an oath to tidy up the nasty pool. I know. Uh, it can't work as well as the one in the basement because the the halflings were harvesting the one in the basement, right? If they had access to their own pool here, why would they? Yeah, they, well, they maybe didn't consecrate it or something. Yeah, maybe. And so they didn't have any priests. So we've got a bunch of priests in our gang. We don't have any that. holy water right now. Yeah, but uh, for somebody else to... Uh, yeah. Yeah take on later but that's good there's a good uh, mission to do is to pick the, let's pick go that. finger the baboon eyes we've got 10 minutes oh, yeah sir. yeah it's a circular pool all right um yeah so there's an enormous fresco of a baboon up at up at uh at 20. uh there's an enormous fresco of the baboon squatting on the ground staring forward with bared teeth Who wants to finger the eyes? Yeah, Austin just lives, lives for this stuff. Yeah. Right. You die. Try one I'm and then kidding. two eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you, you finger the baboon's eyes and you hear a click uh, and um, your fingers come out. You're in, intact. You always test them to make sure uh, they're there. Um, yeah. And there is a latch uh, and there's a door um, behind revealing a staircase descending very, very far down. It's a spiral staircase, so you can't see the bot, uh, how far it goes. But as you open it, you get the smell of, you know, it's kind of stale ale, or, but maybe a little bit of water, too. So do we have any idea what's down below where we are right now? Anyone got a, got a good vertical sense? See the, the dwarves know how deep we are, but that's about it. Well, I mean, this map, the map we had says, says cog or gog, dangerous. So, so it's possible this stair, these stairs just lead back down to Gog, right? Oh, to, to... or or that Gog is just further down the actual hallway. Yeah, because the, the base I, can... I yeah. Was a... Oh We've yeah, maybe. How... I guess the the basement would be this southern door. We haven't really been down there. Probably they're probably this way. Yeah, they? I also I also yeah. pointed out I drew a little bit of the extra hallway that you would see walking around. There's this little spur staircase with a door. As well as there's this other like passageway that continues down into some sort of like large weird rhomboid almost looking room parallelogram shit. Okay, well With now the, we, do, we don't yeah. have eight minutes to end of the session now, do we? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Do we so wanna... are we going to describe some more stuff, Eric? Or... No, you're good. 
I know I spent well I spent like the 30 minutes of us doing this thing describing this fucking weird triangle so sorry about that <laughs> that um, is a weird yeah, this is a really weird map this is a really yeah, weird man. map <laughs> this part of it look at it it's triangles everywhere yeah man I want to believe uh, we do want to go down to the stairs and verify where that goes. Or do you want to just say uh, yeet and go back through the goblin territory and get an exfil safely? I mean, I, I'd love, I'd love to know where this stair goes, um, but maybe people want to bug out. But I we feel can, like, no, we can push no, forward, wait, 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 wait. finish mapping this open room. Yeah, I'll check that. I'm room. More, Don't I'm we want more to interested. Where, I'm more interested where the yeah. spiral staircase goes, if I'm honest. But. I don't mind really. Whatever you guys want to do, look, is, is, look do here. Have? Look, I'm, 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 I'm going to be completely. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to tell you something because we uh, of, of time constraints. If we go to that room with the fucking parallelogram shit, you're gonna, you're gonna hear me describe shit for ten minutes. Far, okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. If we go down the staircase, is it gonna, is it gonna? Do we have enough torches to get back up if we're gonna camp out here? Yeah. Is it just like three or four um, loops around, and then it's and then we're down, or is it go down, down, down like all these a, other? It's, it's a time passes situation. Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, but how many torches do we have though? I think we're on our last one. Because if we if this know. literally pops out in Gog's cavern, it's worth knowing that now, isn't it? But if we don't have the torches or the time, we can just do that next session. Yeah, okay. Anyone got a light spell? Uh, Oli's got a light spell. Oh, yeah, got a light spell. my spell ruling. Do we trust his casting to get us yeah, back up? I, That's true. I don't. But can't we just go up these stairs to the pyramid? Isn't that going to just take us right right out the top? And we're it on will, the, yeah. Or is there... Yeah, 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 right, yeah it'll yeah. take us out, but that's also two torches out, I think. No, the stairs... Oh, I saw it. Stairs away. Yeah. Which I don't know which stairs the pyramid you're talking about. If you're talking about the north, the, the exit the temple, yeah, this one is exit. a single time. That that's a time passes straight up uh, yeah, yeah, the staircase. Yeah, yeah th that literally takes you to the top of the temple. That that I don't mind telling you, we've done that a million times. You've seen people do that. Everyone knows this. Uh, not not to say you. I mean I mean royally in the game, everyone knows this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll just, let's let's just call it there then. But what do we have to do to what do we have to do to try and get the goblins not to take this this area? We hang out Almost. here. One of you yeah. climbed yeah. it. Um, um, if if we need to, Caius can commit a downtime action to negotiating with King Wiskegan about taking yeah. this place. Yeah, you need to. Uh, someone needs to sacrifice a downtime action to. Um, that would. I, I I honestly need to make a new downtime action, which would be like treat or like uh you know whatever whatever di like diplomacies diplomacies or whatever. Uh, the reason for that is like. And, and the reason why it takes a downtime action is that like these dudes schedules means that you're going to be spending most of those days just kind of waiting around until you like, oh, by the way, the king will see you now today. And so you have to be ready. It's not like you can do something else while you're waiting around. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so that's the deal there. OK. I mean, we can take credit for the halflings leaving as, yeah. as bargaining. But the, thing. Yeah, we, yeah, we kick them out. Yeah. Storm. Yeah, you can say that you, you, you did that. Take the credit. Okay, cool. So uh, are we going to call the session there then? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, you're going to get a little bit of XP for killing uh, Tick Knocker. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that guy. <laughs> we hardly knew you, Tick Knocker. Man, we murdered those guards at the North Gate for no fucking benefit. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. And I would um, not, and I would be zero percent surprised do it again. if that comes back. If that would comes back to bite us in the ass, I would not at all be surprised. No, you can't touch us. It was a particularly violent move on your point on your on your part, but I was. I mean, that's fine. Our, the main benefit okay. we have is that they have no evidence to tie it to us. Nobody saw us. Unless well, those adventurers I mean, recognized Gaius. Yeah. And Which, you know. It's 45 gold. Okay. So it's, it's uh, going to come down to a die roll <laughs> at some point. Right. Player XP share today 15. Player gold share 6. <laughs> it's fucking fun. hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to add it, though. I'm putting Do it we there. have any rumors? Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, gold share is not six. Uh, I forgot the canopic jar. That's my bad. Yeah. It's seven. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah, baby. Um, um, adventures get four. So you take uh, fourteen hedge water, and I will reduce my debt to you. <laughs> Going to do literally one session. That's all. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, do we have anything we need to be... What's the, what's the VIG on this loan? Do we have anything we need to be researched during downtime? Because how star needs uh, to... Julia is going... Sister Julia is going to research um, some Arcanum. Arcanum stuff for us. Yeah. Because uh, she had an extra downtime action and was asking for suggestions. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, give you, I'll give you the rules for that stuff. Um, and this is my last session before the break, I think, because yeah. we're done at the end of this week before the weekend comes. So yeah. Caius is going to go ahead and commit to treating with King Wiskagen and um, is going to start training on how to use a longbow. Nice. Um, oh, did we ever decide as a group how stringent we wanted to be about uh, utilizing of, of large weapons in close quarters? Only yeah. realistic. So like spears, javelins, things you can thrust through. Yeah, so normally um, when where that comes up is like second ranks, I pretty much only allow spears or like bows through like one rank of people. Um that's usually end up how I end up doing things. But no, like if there's a if there's an issue of like using a great sword in a baboon tunnel, that's like that thing, I'll bring that up at that point, but most of the places don't worry about it. Okay. Or you're thinking so about like, a longbow yeah. draw and like the, how to do that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the exact thing is because in AD&D a lot of times the ben yeah. main benefit of a short bow is that you can actually use a short bow in the dungeon, and half the time with a long bow, you can't. Right. No, you're there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do any gotchas there. I will definitely explain, you know, if there is a tight squeeze before, just like the chimney, how I described it, like, hey, you have to throw off your packs, you know, like you couldn't, you couldn't use it in a chimney, but like, yeah, you know, so like there's that kind of stuff. Yeah. So if you're, if you're, if you're tunnel ratting against the baboon threat, you're probably not going to be able to, you know, long bow uh, in, in those, in those little holes in those warrants. But, uh, you know, the rest of the time, you know, you're grand. Thanks for asking. Any other things? Um, so nothing else needs to be fact finding. Probably tons of stuff. <laughs> well, know. Anything, oh, anything right now that's pertinent, <laughs> I guess. Plumthorn base. Uh, if we want to find out like specifics of it, if we're planning to try and undercut the Brotherhood and get there first, uh, just so for the we'll, sake we'll of we'll settling our bit you know, there. you know for a fact that they're hitting them sometime this month. You know that for a fact. Sometime in April. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And, and maybe remember we're trying to do yeah. a fact find on specific on the specifics of the Plumthorn base and like what their security is. But I don't know how we would do that. It's not you, like that's going to be listed in some library. Or I something. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't allow a fact find on that. I would say you, the bet your best bet is going to have to go look at some people's notes or the episode where uh, Ed charmed the halfling. Yeah. Because that stuff is not in, okay. yeah, that's not like just random bar talk or, or a book that you can yeah. read. Is hiring spies a downtime action? I mean, it will be later, but yeah, I don't think, not right now. Yeah, yeah they're specialists. So like, we're not cool. They're specialists. I'll just, I'll just uh, yeah. fact find about Care, the twin sword of Mistral, and then yeah. Carouse, so. Nice. Did uh, did when anyone was down in the Goblin Court? Did they see any uh, halflings in that in that where the prisoners were? <laughs> were there any halflings? Down? Uh, yeah, there there are there there were a couple halflings down there. That's for sure. Okay. Um, you want to charm person on them now? You want, the yeah, you session. want a downtime? Yeah, you... that let because I don't want to. I'm not going to downtime, but could I charm person on them? Now at the end of the session, and then no, I was just gonna say Hedgewood is gonna try and petition the Goblin King to let him have one of those prisons so he can just yeah. murder him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. If you can get one of their prisoners, I mean, what do I need it prison can... for? Yeah, you can complete your oath. Quite my best chance. I will see. Yeah. We'll work that out. Oh yeah, I got a draft horse. Oh nice. Uh, Mill Mill passes loyalty check. Uh, Roll to fifteen. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, sorry for the underwhelming lack of battle, but best laid plans, etc. Yeah, et just, just how it goes sometimes. Yeah. We, we had a plan. Never, never leaving, but, but 
Uh, we had a plan, news. but it didn't. They they didn't give the halberd to the end of the broken head, which means we may be able to still steal it from them at their camp. True. And yeah, finally, get head cross... order a magic weapon. We have to cross. Uh... The cross there. The halberd is probably bigger. I don't than know if that's head worth head. it. I know, I know. It's worth it for a no, you're, you're right, Bunya. But it is twice the size. Yeah, I don't think I can even use a halberd. Yeah, I'm a goblin. Yeah, you can, like, you're fine. You can, yeah. can do something like that. But... Yeah. Oh okay. my god! I literally, I only roll sevens and eights on Corrals. Kai's got friends. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> I low fuck it. Okay. Cool. Oh well, yeah, good game, y'all. Yeah, For what it's worth, me. even though like our plan super didn't work, I actually loved this session. Like taking out the tower was fucking awesome. It's yeah, true. it was cool. I, yeah. I I think that was fucking awesome. Great. Uh, Hedgewater, you know, hitting that dude with the spear on the last second. Yeah, that was, that was clutch as fuck. This was. If he oh, blowed did, his horn, did, I don't did know we get XP happened. for those goblins that tried to start shit? Yeah. Oh yeah, I added the combat yeah, XP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you got ninety combat XP. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just they're they're level one, so you get ten. Yeah, so it's not great. Okay, um, but uh, thanks, thanks guys. awesome. Uh, also, yeah, thanks for playing. For anybody. Wednesday's, Wednesday's the last session, right? Till we... Yeah, nope. for the, till the break. And a reminder: there's no time passing, so when so the next session will be. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I might I might say three days have passed, maybe like and just pick it up on a Saturday, so the Saturdays line up. I don't know. I'll we'll, we'll, I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See okay. you all in a month. Yeah. Cheers. Right. Yeah. See you, everyone. See you later.